Why don't you just be up there by yourself? I think it might work. No. Like that. If we're close, watch. Yeah, you ready? Yeah. You ready, Alex? Okay. Hey, welcome, everyone. How how exciting! Uh, well, welcome, and thanks for thanks for joining us. I, I can honestly say I don't know if I've ever worked with such a talented and highly energetic man in my life. That's too much for praise. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> welcome. So, so two two months ago. We were sitting, uh, I was standing here with a couple of my partners and the marketing team for Ruby Lane. We were giving them a tour. They were here during the winter show and they knew they wanted to do something with Roundtop Publishers, Paper City, our whole, our whole team. And we're looking at the space and, and Alex with Ruby Lane says, you know, I bet Lee Kino would like to come out here and do an appraisal event. And we said, really, you, you think he would? He says, well, let's just see. And he gets him on the phone and he puts him on speakerphone and we're shivering and Lee picks up, Lee picks up the phone. He says, absolutely, I love Roundtop. I, I love Texas. I have so many friends and clients. And, and, and so, and then he says, oh, and by the way, I, I have to have a charity involved. I, I, I love kids charity. And so we, that's why we have Camp for All, who, as you know, is down the road in Burton. And in a little bit, they'll, they'll, they'll say something uh, when, when we have a break. So this was before there was construction. It was uh, the old boneyard. We were trying to figure it all out. Well, it came together. And uh, I want to thank Lee and Ruby Lane and Gallery Films uh, out of uh, Bastrop. Just some of the, remember that name if you need great video folks, uh, out, outstanding. Uh, we also have uh, Alice, Alice in Wonderland has uh, graciously been, a, uh, has sponsored the, uh, the champagne. Uh, and it, she, she, she required, it, it, has, it had to have been French champagne and it is and it's outstanding. So everyone who has a, has a, a band can uh, enjoy that. And uh, she wanted me to mention that she has, uh, if you read this, I think it's four facades from a, a, a grand chateau that she is offering. So take, take, a, take a look at that. And um, if, unless I'm missing something, I think we're gonna start. We're live streaming on Ruby Lane who only has 400,000 or so followers. So uh, there's a good chance you, you may be seen on, on, on someone's screen today. Uh, am I missing anything? Okay, great. Lee, great, thank you. Up thank to you, you, Pal. Jim. All thank right. you very much. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, thank you all for coming. Thank you all for uh, tuning in on, on Ruby Lane. And we are, I'm excited, as Jim said, to be in Texas. I love Texas. I love the people. I came to Round Top here with my brother, what was that, Jim, uh, 10 years ago, I think? And Paper City actually covered the event, right? I don't know if it was much of an event following a couple of um, uh, stumbling twins around that uh, looking under tables, crawling under high boys. Anyway, we had a blast and I'm happy to be back here. So, and, um, and, and thrilled to be doing it with Ruby Lane. So without further ado, I think we, we, we're going to start with uh, one of the first appraisal. And uh, it's all, this is great because it's just kind of winging it here, which first time. So you're part of something really exciting, man. Help. I don't know if I can step up here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. You got it. Sorry. Thank you. Hello. How are you? I'm doing great. Yeah. So I uh, brought this Dante's Poems book. It's very old. Okay. And what is what is your name? I'm sorry. Linda. Linda, Linda Churchwell. Linda. Linda. Yeah. May I call you Linda? Yes, you may. Only for privacy purposes. And uh, okay. it's like on, on 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 another show I do on BBS. We never say last names, so oh. because of privacy. Oh, okay. But sometimes I feel out of respect. You want to say a last name, so we you don't mind if I call you Linda, right? Linda's fine. Thank you, Linda. Well, this this is so. This is Dante, and and what's the story? Well, um, my cousin. Doris had it in her family for a long, long time, and you'll see in here, it's written, it's given to her by her Uncle Clifford right. on one yep. of these pages in here. Yes. Uh, and her Uncle Clifford was from Tennessee. Okay. And when he gave it to her, he told her that it was valuable oh, for yeah. her to hang on to it. Yeah, gift of and, my precious and beloved Uncle Clifford. Oh. And uh, so she held it, but when she passed on, we were real close cousins, yep. and she knew that I liked antiques, and she knew that I would take care of it. So wow. she told her son before she died right. to make sure that I got that book, and he gave it to me, and I just, I don't know what it's worth. 
Well, I'll tell you, first of all, it's a, it's a beautiful copy with its original cover. And, and, and I lo this image, which I'm showing to the, the camera, uh -huh. but, it, but so that they can see it over here. Right. Uh, but, and you guys can, I'm sorry to see it, but maybe you can watch the tape, watch it on Ruby Lane later, right? Okay. But um, it's a wonderful picture of capturing uh, what, what Dante was all about, this uh, mm -hmm. experience with the, with, the, with the devil. Did you read it, actually? No, no. You I never didn't. did? Well, no, it's too fragile. I'm afraid I'll tear I, it up. Exactly. And that's a, that's I a, know you can buy a hard copy, you know, of a, a print of it. Right. And one day I'm going to do that and read it because I'd like to know, you know, what it's about. Yes, and know where, where you don't want to go down there, right? Right. Cause right. <laughs> and Linda, you seem know that. You already know you're going up there. I, I can tell. I already know that. I can feel this, uh, yes. this glow coming oh, from you, this yes. light. No. Oh, really? I'm going to be a preacher now, okay? I can feel it. I can feel it. No, the hallelujah. But no, no, seriously. That's part being a Texan. That, I, yeah, it is. Really. A yeah. proud Texan. Yes. That's what I love about Texas. You're uh, uh, proud. Listen, the, the, the cover of this, I just want to say, and I'm going to show this. The, the, the cover is classic East Lakes. Charles East Lake wrote a book called Household Taste in 1874, I think. And all the furniture from this period that we that I see uh, over my filming over the last the last two decades, and all the furniture has these motifs that you see on the cover of this book. Right. Uh, it, it's classic compartmentalized right. little rosettes right. and flowers, and that's classic East Lake mm -hmm. style. So I could look at this book and not know anything about Dante, you know, the right. famous right. the famous play, and know that this this etic this was done probably no earlier. I don't, I'm trying to see if there's a I date think in here. It's 1813, I think. I, probably, um, I think the original one was cop done in 1813. And again, from the cover, I know it couldn't be. It's like saying a Volkswagen was made in 1812. Oh, okay. You know, I mean, I don't know why I picked Volkswagen. How about a Mustang? <laughs> you know. Um, I got you. Not yeah. About. No. So it doesn't have. But I, I thought I saw a date. There's yeah. a. There, well, let's just say that. Yeah. This is a beautiful shape. It's, yeah. it's in original condition. Yeah. And the value of it is a good thing to replace the cover. And I'm not a book expert, a specialist in, in, in books at all, but I saw it and said, that's a, such a beautiful cover. It has some of its original gilding on it. And value-wise, it's not great. It's some, some of those things, there are a lot of these things that have sentimental value to us that that, that doesn't translate into, right. into monetary value, okay. but that's okay. You know, and so I'm not going to give you a big number on this. Okay. It's not going to be life changing. I just want to know what it's worth. Yes, okay. yeah, it's it'd be in a range under three hundred dollars. Okay. You know, in a range. Okay. So, so, um, but that's okay. I mean, it's it, absolutely lovely. I and I, the way I'm handling it right now is, I guess, okay. But you don't want you you did the right thing by not reading it because it, yeah. if you read it it's a lot, too fragile. Yeah, yeah, that that's it. But but the greatest yeah. thing is I got to meet a true Texan. I yes, got to sir. meet you, yes, and thank you, thank you, Linda. Thank you for coming. To thank, Texas. thank you for having me. Thank okay, you for thank we you. appreciate. It. Let me help you down. Yes, sir. Just a sec. Okay. All right, thanks. Yeah, now I see a box over there coming up, and it looks like it. Uh, maybe a man made in China. I haven't seen it. We saw a few pictures of things that were going to come, but, but but this is the first time I'm seeing this. This young gentleman is bringing up. Again, this Mike. I'm gonna I'm gonna man, man, I'm gonna pop over and uh, I'll give him a hand. Hey, sir, may I help? You? May I grab that? I would certainly appreciate it. You, thank, you, you, thank you're welcome. Thank you. Are we good to go? I get an early look at it here. Hmm. You're gonna, you're gonna hit me, get up on me. So, I I love China, I love things made it. in China. Mm, I don't but know. I want to hear the story about it well, first. Come on up. I you got it. You got it, man. You, you're good. When and your I, knees go, you're gone. <laughs> you're, do, you're doing just fine. My, my name's you. Lee. Henry. Nice to meet you. Good to know you, sir. And what, what's the story on this, Henry? Well, I don't really know. Okay. Did you? I, where'd you get it? Uh, I've had it about twelve years. And when it's interesting how I got it. The bottom is beginning to yep. come out. Yep. But uh, I've had it about 12 years. About 12 years ago, one Saturday morning, a car drove up my driveway. A couple got out, handed me that box, right. and said their neighbors had given it to them and asked them to give it to me. Really? And uh, they were going into uh, assisted living. Okay. You'll see an inscription down in the bottom there. 
Oh, uh, right, that, right here. Oh yes, tea box from. Uh, let me try to. I don't think the camera's going to make it in there, but uh, I, if I can read it, if we're looking at this little tag done in the probably the 1950s or 60s. Yeah. A uh, tea box from Chelsea. Ch uh, oh, so Chelsea. Uh, I assume England used early 19th century for tea from China, reputedly used to carry household goods by wagon to Kansas, isn't that great, in the 1850s, brought back to Cheshire when dreams fail. Oh, she didn't have any dreams fail, that's too bad, it happens, but I mean, it's just like, wow. But think about it, some people moved to Kansas, and, 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 and is Cheshire, do you guys know Cheshire? Is there Cheshire in Texas? No, not Texas. No. So, I mean, I would have thought that that was Cheshire, was Cheshire, England, That's you know? I, I mean, right. so, yeah, and it says used to carry household goods by wagon to Kansas in the 1850s. So that's kind of, that's very neat that, I mean, and th this would have somehow found its way, this is, the, the, what the, I don't think basically what I think this is, this is the, 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 the motifs on here are called the uh, uh, antiquity motif that they describe when you have several vases like this on a piece and it's like a collection of little vases and that was popular as a design on porcelain and, and all sorts of things from China in the 19th, oh, from the, really from the Ming Dynasty, from back in the 1500s right. up through the Qing Dynasty, right. 20th century. So this was made, I, uh, my guess is the mid 19th century, and, and, and that fits with the narrative there about the, you know, brought goods to Kansas by wagon. And it, um, it, 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 it's kind of export quality. It, it wasn't made for the emperor, let's say. Right. Right. <laughs> you know, so it's, it's just a, it's as, a, as a Buddhist symbol on the top, this little doggy playing with a ball that was used by, as Buddhist imagery in China. And all these different motifs, motifs combined. Look at that crazy cat there, right. kind of kitty with a, right. a winged kitty, <laughs> which they, I think they call the chillin in China, a, which a winged a winged beast, and uh, and it's got nice hardware. The way you can date a piece is from the hardware. Sometimes right. let me turn it. To, I gotta turn it to the camera, and I want to show you. But you see, the, the you can see that the, the the quality's kind of thin than the brass. Right. It's not heavy cast, so you know that right. this was made for export, okay? Right. And, and this is, but the fact that it has this kind of history, the fact that you had these, somebody drive into your driveway one day and just well, tell you, just. To, to finish the story, I asked them why, and the people were going into assisted living and they were getting rid of everything, right. and they had given this to these people and asked them to give it to me, because at the time, I was a chairman and you Democrats put your guns up. <laughs> I was of the Tea Party. Okay. And I had organized a Tea Party in Madison County. And they said that they thought it was appropriate that I get this tea box. How, how cool is that? That's very cool. That's very cool. That's great. Thing. That's, that, that's very appropriate. That, that is so, <laughs> that's so cool. Right. That's it. Uh, that's um, well. It was, it was a really nice gift, and I mean, the story there is. I know you'd never sell it because it's a memory of right. something you right. that you did that you uh, strongly believe in, right. and you know you want to keep it. But but just just to know, uh, for insurance purposes or whatever, you know, it it, it has more value as as the object, and right. the, it doesn't translate always again into monetary value. The story. Having said that, this is a nice painted box. It has these. These um, great imagery, and and look at how the top is darker. Right. The top here, you can see, is right. darker than the sides. Do you guys know why that is? It, it, it's a way to date a piece sometimes. No, no, it has some age because it's real simple. Just dust has settled since 1840 or 50 on that mm -hmm. horizontal surface. It doesn't settle on the sides. It didn't get picked up on the sides. So mm -hmm. the sides are all much brighter, mm -hmm. and the the top is is dark. And you can see that on the top of a picture frame that's hanging on a wall for, you know, I mean the top, I always look right. at the, that, uh, the sides are shiny gold, the top's like almost black. And you're going, wow, that, it's not like the people weren't good housekeepers, but it's just that it, it stuff collects on the, on the surface. Anyway, value-wise, this box is probably, my guess is like, it's probably in, for decorative purposes. 
probably about kind of, kind of $700 to $1,000. Because it has a great, great look. It has, it would, I mean, a lot of designers, you could see this in a, in a room, couldn't you, you guys? Right. Yeah. Everybody's right. nodding out there. Right. Friend, so, right. Um, so, congratulations. Uh, I mean, I, and, yeah. Yeah, yeah, and right. I know you're going to keep it. Thanks a lot. And knowing what it is. Yes, you. yes. You know, what, you know what it is now. I appreciate you a lot. I appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank right you very here. much. Let me sit You have a great day. And then let me lean on that and I'll get down. And, and let me let me help you here. Okay, so we have. Uh, uh, Thanks, let me just tell you, we have a lot of uh, great things coming up because I've seen some images of them. So those for those of you watching um, watching on Ruby Lane, we have some fascinating things. In fact, I saw an image of something that looks to be, and I, I just don't know until I see it in person, but it looks like it could be an important thing. And I don't want to say what it is, or the, if the person's here, I don't know if they're even here yet, but it looks important. Uh, I, I gotta tell you, it looks important. I'm not a Michelangelo expert, but it looks important. That's a little hint, that's all. <laughs> so, so I think, what's, what is next, may I ask? Do we have a, a, the next item, if I may ask? With another book? I should have told them to spread out the books. I'm only kidding. I just don't know. I'm not a book guy. But this is just really, I, this looks like a little pocket book that's coming up, a pocket sized okay. book. And uh, we're going to have it in a minute. Hello. Ready? Come on up. How are you? Hey, good. How are you? How are you? Good. good. My name's Lee. Hello, I'm Gail. Gail. Nice to meet mm -hmm. you, Gail. Thank you. I guess our, our mics are. Mm, that's okay. Is there that's something? Legal. I think it's okay. It's Can we adjust that a little bit? Yeah, a little bit. Thank you. Mm, I think it's. I think my mic Turn likes you. Well, it likes your mic. Too much. It's humming. Too much. Is okay. it too, is the volume, you guys? Do we adjust that? Okay. While while we're adjusting that, we have to stand more apart. Maybe you guys can adjust that. <laughs> I'm just going to keep talking. Which I have no problem doing, unfortunately, for you guys. <laughs> and this is, first of all, Gail, thanks for bringing it. And what, what's the story? Well, this is the New Testament. And yes. it's, it's from Holland. It's in Dutch. Yes. And it's also a hymnal. Because if you go to the back of the book, you'll see various Dutch hymns, uh -huh. Christian hymns. Okay, well, all of it very neatly written in very small, small notes. Yes. Uh, and what, what struck me about this came to us through our family, but it's been in storage for a long time, okay. and the, the only date I could find was 1612. Uh, 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 and, and I'm just wondering, could it possibly be that old? Or That's a good question. I'll tell you, if, if I were to look at just the outside of it and the silver hasp on that, I absolutely would say that that could be early 17th century. Yes. Uh, yes. I could. Wow. You've always wondered that. Yes. And how did you come across it? Uh, well, my husband's father okay. was Dutch, yeah. lived in Athens, okay. and after he died, we discovered it in, among his possessions. And okay. so we can only assume that it came from Holland, from down through the family for many generations. Right. There are notations on the front page yep. regarding marriages, I believe. Okay. Uh, and some of our family names are in there. Yeah, they are in there. Mm -hmm. I mean, right. So this is a fam this is a family uh, Bible. Presumably. I mean, it looks. It so you recognize some of these names. There's some. I don't know if the camera can. Can you guys zoom in on that? Uh, on that. Uh, on the, your family names, right? Mm -hmm. And it, this date uh, looks like it looks like at uh, yeah. You came up with uh, is it 1621 maybe 21? Possibly. I think I think 16 at least 1621. I'm, I'm, I'm horrible at big uh, Roman numerals. I can do little ones like XI, means 11, oh boy. No, but seriously, this is, I think it's early 17th century, 1621 Dutch, as you said, Bible. Uh, that's, that's amazing, right? To have <clears throat> something in your hands that's 400 years, right. 400 years old. And with the original cover that's been protected in part but because it has been handled, because the oil would naturally keep it, the, the leather moist. You know, so we always told them, don't touch, don't touch. Well, this is something where carefully you touch, <laughs> you know. So um, this is, you know, and sometimes they do this in a Russia leather, which is a special Russia bind. But this is carefully, you see how that's impressed, the surface? Mm -hmm. And the silver hasp is engraved. And um, the mar this paper is called 
marbleized, I won't open it all the way, uh, but it's that marbleized paper that you've seen so many times. But this is this, a very popular uh, process uh, 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 with books where they, they, they had the process of with the ink where they ca caused it to look marbleized, just like, like a marble floor of a uh, cross section. Totally period. The thing is, I, I'm going to sing one of these psalms for you now. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I, 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 you guys would run out of here so fast if I started singing. No, but, no. But no, you would seriously. But um, I, 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 this is the thing with the religious objects. They're, they're, they don't unless it's unless it's even in, an item that's that, that very, very old. They're difficult to put a market value on. Sure. They don't sell in the marketplace because. They, because they're because they're religious, you know. They're special, and so and and it almost seems to me not a sin, but to talk about money in the Bible, you know. So that psychologically, having said that, this has been passed down. That's why your family maybe never sold it. It's a family Bible. Mm -hmm. and I wish I, my family went back that far. Tra I, I could trace it back that far, you know. Um, um, at, to, to the early 1600s. Value-wise, this would be under uh, under a thousand dollars, you know. And and you know, it's it, again, it's it's hard, you know. As I've appraised things over the years, it's I, we we never generally kept you know prices off religious objects, you know, uh, sure. unless it's the Gutenberg Bible, which I understand did sell once for an awful lot of money. So, but but this is I just I just wonderful to see it, wonderful to hold that. At least you have a confirmation that it is around 1621. Yes, that's public. very helpful. That's Thank very helpful. Thank you. What, you're going to keep it. Where do you keep it in, in your home? In the library. You know, appropriate. Yeah. <laughs> appropriate. Well, thank you so much for. All right. Thank, thank you, you very much. Me. Appreciate it, Gail. Thank, thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. All right, you guys. We have a cruet set coming up, and when I was growing up, I always my mom, we used to see cruet sets. And the, the word's not used that much anymore, I, I don't think, but come, there you are. Hello, how Hi. are you? Don't you look lovely? Thank you. Yes, and your mic seems to be where well, your mic is. I, don't have a mic. I was going to say, it's not Zoom, it's not making that buzz. Why don't I, I can do the pocket and you do the other. We're going to get the, get, what is your, your name, please? Nancy. Nancy, <coughs> Nancy. may I call you Nancy? Yes. Thank you, Nancy. And my name's Lee. Yeah, that's okay. No, no, no harm done. You okay? Yeah. Okay. Hello. Nancy, thank oh. you. Well, thank you, Nancy. Tell me the story of your cruet set. Um, when my grandfather died, <clears throat> he was uh, he arranged to have a lunch uh, at the University Club in St. Louis for all the family to read the will. Right. And uh, organized as he always is, he. Um, he had three things that he was willing or gifting. Um, one to my aunt, one to my uncle, and one to me. I was one of 12 grandchildren. And this was in a box. Nobody knew about it. Um, it was purchased in England in 1947 in August wow. when my mother was pregnant with me and no one had ever seen it. Okay. I have the original papers. Wow, the original papers. Yes. Because I was going to say, and I'm looking at the top of this thing, and I'm, I'm saying, I'm, 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 it's exactly what I'm, that part of it. It says George III, 1760. Yes, let me show you. Then I'm going to tell you what I think. Okay. This is the, uh, the letter from the company to my uh, grandfather. So, so it's a letter saying the, the invoices for the silver and glass oil and vinegar frame. That's really. That's, this, this is, is the invoice. Wow. The original invoice from August 26, 1947. That's so great. That, that's a real. That's a real invoice with all the stamps of. Uh, uh, is it, uh, silver. I was. It looks like a silver smith to the to the to the king or something with all the all these coats of arms from Hancock's and Company in London. Wonderful. Well, the cool thing is the letter is stating if my grandfather wants to show off this to his friends and doesn't want to share the price, they sent a secondary invoice that didn't have the price on it. That's very kind of it. <laughs> <laughs> That's for polite, when, yeah, very polite society, right, right. And, that, and then my grandfather had it appraised in 1980, and this is from um, 
um, a jewelry store in St. Louis, wow. along with several other things that they purchased. Wow. At the same time, they bought a 12-piece hawk set that I have 11 pieces of at my house. A hawk set. They're colors. Wow. Six different colors, and That's it's the most beautiful set. But this, you've, you've cherished this over the years. And well, I, I just received it in 19... 89 or whenever they uh, he died and uh, I d I've never touched it so right. it's it's right. not clean yep. or anything but yep. I've been afraid to do anything with it because I didn't know if I would harm it well uh, th th uh, if I may I'll read this this original that this is the 1947 receipt right a uh, George the third circa 1760 oil and vinegar frame which they call it a frame then oh. you know the frame in silver and glass made in London by John Delmster, and uh, it has the hallmarks on the bottom, of course, which I just saw. And yep, right the there. hallmarks. Uh, when we'll when we like looked this. them up, they actually it actually uh, dates it pre 19, uh, 1760. Uh huh. Yeah, I you know it's the first time I'm I'm seeing this this picture, and I I tend to agree with you. They'd be like from the fifties or something or forties. Well, the style. actually, it's fifty. It, yeah. it, late 50s, but uh -huh. I, it, I, it, I'm, I don't remember exactly. It's been but several years. This one thing, I, let me just say that it's wonderful that this is the, this cap in caps that they made in London, right, at a time when the Rococo was in full bloom. So you have this handle with the acanthus leaf and this, this scrolled. I'm showing the camera, not you, so yeah. that because you, 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 you can look from this side, <laughs> and and it's 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 pure rococo, all the curves. It's the William Hogarth wrote the book, The Analysis of Beauty, in 1754. I used to have an original copy of it, and it says that the S curve line was the most beautiful is the most beautiful line in, in nature, and it is. I mean, the, it's the S shape, right? And and. Uh, and uh, that and a twinkle in the eye and yeah. you know, you, know <laughs> you got it we go on from there right yeah uh, but that is the essence of everything isn't it and the, this and, and and he shows really bad lines and and really faint lines but right somewhere there's a perfect s curve right, right. so and everyone has their own s curve that, that they like so let's stop about that analogy and just talk about this beautiful handle and this, the wonderful thing are the, is the shell feet don't you love right, those right. do you like those I mean, this is like, it's this, I know you've just had it since 89, but you've, that's still 40. It's a long time. I've had it yeah, a long time. Yeah. And I've had it out. It, I, I haven't, it, I didn't put it away or hide it. That, I have it out. That, that's, well, that's nice. Uh, that, well, this, it, it, first of all, it's beautiful. It has these great hallmarks on the bottom. That, and the nice thing about English silver, as you know, is that you can, you can actually date the piece right way and, and determine the maker right from the hallmark. And there, you could, nowadays you can go online. And, right. and back, in, back when I was uh, st first studying silver, we had all the books piled up and now it's, now it's all online. Uh, and, and this is just a lovely crew of set. And, and, and I've never seen a anything actually with as many receipts with it. It's really cool. <laughs> You know, I mean, it, uh, it's amazing, you know, and, and from, from great makers. And the nice thing is that sometimes I have to tell people that some, despite this fancy receipt, it's not what they think it is, you know, what they were sold. Well, I know this is original. Well, you know, yeah, and I, you know, and I know. And that's what's so, it's more fun for me to, you know, you already knew it, yeah. but you didn't need me to tell you. But, no. but now you just have another, this, this fast-talking guy on TV. No, no, no. <laughs> I believe <laughs> you, I believe you. No, 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 no. It's like, no, it's great. It's right. I love to see period of things. Let me just quickly talk about the glass because I, I love it. I know. This, uh, this has bothered me. Oh, what, what's the bothering you? The vinegar has... has, has uh, it's, it's bloomed a little bit, yes. the glass. You know, I but wouldn't, I haven't touched it. I yep. haven't done a thing to mess it up. I wouldn't worry about it. I mean, this is... Look at this is... This is over almost 300 years old. Right. And... Uh, and and the great thing I want to show the bottoms if I could and they, they and you see that you see those marks in the bottom. Let me take one. And these things. This is a blown glass decanter, and then so blown really by a glass blower with a pipe, and then the, the it was snapped off the, the the pipe and then ground. And if you feel it, you want to feel that little. Right, I can feel the stem. Yeah, and you feel that that concave area. Right. That, and as you probably know, that was ground down, yes. and and you see that concave area, and that's one way to know that you have a blown piece. And sometimes they don't grind it away, but this is so fine. 
This is mid 18th century, hand cut on a wheel, uh, glass, uh, with custom fitted mounts. Uh, and they match really well. They do, they match beautifully. And uh, for the uh, vinegar and oil, and of course the-, the Ginger. The gin yeah, exactly, ginger. And someone, some might put, they didn't put salt in, in there at that time, which most mm -hmm. people, don't know that you put it in, in right. a master salt, right? Right. And uh, but they because the holes ginger. are much larger. Yes, they are. That, that'd be a lot of salt if you uh, <laughs> if there was salt. You know, look how shiny it is inside. Yeah. And I'm actually glad you didn't didn't polish it up. Also, it just well, I was just afraid I was going to ruin it. Yeah. No. It, you, 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 yeah. I've seen things polished so much as this wonderful hallmark on the top here. See that? That's wonderful. I didn't mean to say hallmark, pardon me. Yeah, uh, the insignia, yeah, uh, the insignia, coat of arms on the top, which is kind of faint. I don't know if the, you can catch that, but it is it's, with the Latin inscription, and it's, uh, it's all still there because it hasn't been cleaned over and over. Sometimes a housekeeper, somebody just wears it right away. Right. So, um, so value-wise, I think with, it, you know, it was, you know, Back in 1947, $180, which was not cheap, you know, that was, that was... Well, I think that was be pounds. Uh, oh, yes, it was, okay, sorry, thanks. So I didn't, you're right, thank you. No, I'm sorry. No, 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 it's right. So, but anything under, anything at over 100, that's it, so it's more expensive. It's like, I don't know what yeah, it was then. That changed. No Let's say it was double, um, and it probably wasn't, like uh, over $300. But that was back in '47. And in '80, they had it at yes. eight thousand. Yes, '80 was appraised at eight thousand, and that was now that was for insurance purposes, was it? Yeah, but so, I have no, I have exactly. no clue if that's so, anywhere. So, okay, so for insurance purposes, you want to always those are usually a good, you know, forty to fifty percent higher, you know, than than the than the, than fair market value, which is the most, price it would bring on the open market. But still, this beautiful little cruise set, I mean, this could, look at, this is really rare. It's got wonderful, uh, wonderful history. It has the hallmark on the front. It's, 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 it's the epitome of the, uh, of the Rococo in England with the, all, the, all the curves. And it's just, it's just, just really charming. I think in a retail shop, you know, for the, with the, with, with everything in place, you know, in a, at a, in, in a, 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 someone who specializes in right. silver, that this would, would be worth today, probably, you know, I'd say upwards of retail, uh, 9,500 or so, 9,000, 9, I mean, you could put that on it because it's hard to go out and find a full set. And when you do find them, one, one bottle's broken, one exactly. something's replaced, and, and, and I tell you, the added documentation, I'm, I'm taking into account the fact that you have a, all this documentation, right. which is so wonderful. And I'll carefully fold it up. Here, and I'll you've put taken, it back the way it was. <laughs> I, I, thank you. You've been a very uh, good caretaker of, of it. Well, and, it's very important to me. Yeah, well, I think, uh, well, you're so sweet to bring it in. Well, it's thank sure. you for letting me come. I appreciate it. No, you're welcome. Here, let me fold this up. And um, I, can, I can hand this, I can hand this actually, if I may, to, oh. yeah, I'll get it for you. Okay? Great. Great. Thank you. Thank you. And Here. you guys good? I got it. And is that you next? Yeah, great. We've got uh, the chat. I like bowls. I've always loved bowls. So we have a, a bowl coming up. Again, I, I did, did I say, I don't, I don't think I even saw a photo of that. So, I mean, that's what's, what's fun is that um, when I've done other appraisals, I mean, what's your name? Chad. Chad, nice, nice to, meet to meet you. you. Nice to meet yeah, you, yeah. man. How are you, are you from around here? Right. Well, right here? yeah, you know, I'm from Houston. So okay. I haven't traveled too far, right. but uh, yeah, but I'm excited to be here and see what you think of my bowl. I, I don't know if I have quite the story that some of these other individuals have had with some of their pieces. So I thought, you know, I could come and just make one up. Yeah, but, that's you know, <laughs> so <laughs> there was the only bowl that they could bring over in their, you know, yeah. in their trunk, you know. So. Right, right, yeah, their last few. Right, right, right. Yeah, this is all they ate out of. You know. right, right. It's pretty good still, though. Right, that's, that's good one. It's going up and down. Right, 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 right. right, right. You know, right. in 1860. No, well, the great thing is, like, uh, Chad, is it? Um, it is a. It, it's you know, from far away, it looks like something. Frankly, from I'm going to be really from a tourist shop. You know? <laughs> I mean, isn't that terrible? Here I am telling poor Chad that, but but from far away. But actually, I got closer and I said, you know, that's the real deal. 
It's old. <laughs> I mean, yeah, honest to God, look at the date. Now, well, I well, I wasn't sure. It said it says 1857 on the side, but you know, yeah. the tourist shops, you know, they could just throw that on there. Uh, so sure, it? they could, but it's absolutely 100% 1857 that date. I mean, because and I can tell you, I love. I've collected bowls since I was a little kid. My right. brother and I tried to make a burl bowl, which is a <laughs> knotted, the knotted wood. You know, they get right. gnarly, so hard to chip. We ended up. We ended up using coals and a hair dryer to kind of burn. <laughs> <laughs> we use my dad's chainsaw part to cut. But this one's, so I really appreciate a good bowl because I know how hard they are to make. You know? so, so, but, and this is, this is not burl, but it's a turn, looks like a softwood bowl and, and definitely European. So, and I'm trying to read, I'm, I'm yeah. So is this uh, uh, it's Northern European uh, writing, right? Right, right. Well, you know what I had, uh, so my grandfather was a high school principal for 30 plus years and he was like, got into the antique business kind of on the side as kind of a sideline. And right. he purchased this one, I think on one of his trips to Maine. Okay. And, um, and he always was like, oh, it's a Norwegian bowl. It's a Norwegian bowl. So that's always what he kind of put out there, that it was a Norwegian bowl. You, he, well, he nailed it. It's a Norwegian bowl. That, it, it, honestly, that's it. No, honestly, it is. It is. It is, it is Norwe a Norwegian bowl. And my brain, my, my aging brain is going, oh, what country? I don't know. Austria. Norwegian. That's right, it. Because right. I've seen enough painted things, objects. They were, they were wonderful uh, decorators there in, in, in Norway. And and the, the the thing about the bowl is like you know it wasn't turned to be um, to be oval right right so it has that wonderful shrinkage did you guys notice see the uh, oval quality to it so it's shrunk and and because it's a straight grain so it's shrunk this way so it's like half an inch longer this right. way than this and and that's so it shows its age that that's one telling thing about its age the thing about it Chad if you come close I mean and trying to get the camera. Maybe you can, if you can see, you can see that the paint surface and, 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 and the pebbly mm -hmm. uh, uh, nature of it and the, the way it's shipped and all those things tell, tell us, tell me, tell well, that it's, it's, it's period. I mean, it's because you can, you it's can imagine then. it's not a repro. <laughs> exactly. And, and um, it's just, and, and that's nice abrasion in the bottom, the way the paint's flaked off. And, and this would have been, I mean, again, I'm going to go back to the tourist thing, the, the souvenir shop, sorry, <laughs> but this would have been something that, that you know, that, that wouldn't be expensive, but it'd be, right. it would brighten up a home. And they were, they, were, they were exported as well. But the nice thing is that you rarely see a date on, uh, I mean, uh, on a bowl. I've seen dates on other pieces, some chests mm -hmm. from Norway. Mm -hmm. Anyway, huh. it's, so this thing, so, so again, it's been your family how long? Uh, well, uh, we probably had it now for uh, probably 30 years, 40 okay. years. And you, did you make all those marks in there when you were a kid? <laughs> did you scratch it with I your, might have, I might your, have, right? Uh, with the kicker toys and like in there. Yeah, yeah, you're you know, eating my oatmeal out of it. That's right, that's right. That, I forgot that story, that, that's right. That's, no, but seriously, quite, quite seriously, it's really a nice shape too. You know, it's just lost enough paint to tell us that it's the real thing. Deal. And I just love the turning marks in the bottom, and mm -hmm. and the and, and and you can see that with the light, and 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 the, so again, but Norwegian, uh, you know, uh, painted objects are, let's say they're 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 decorative, they're fun, they're not hugely value. Right. Not, this doesn't have huge value, but I'd say uh, in a, in a in a shop retail that could be that could be a hundred and fifty dollars or so. Right. You know and. Uh, you know, and um, and if you if you told a, a much better story, I'd say three hundred. You know, <laughs> <laughs> in the beginning, don't you? So I shouldn't, so I shouldn't <laughs> retire quite yet. No, no, retire. I should, should, should don't retire. retire. <laughs> don't retire. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Lee. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. I'll take my tourist my back. <laughs> but I appreciate it. Thanks. You're a good guy. All right. All right. This is so much fun, I'll tell you. You guys having fun? Yeah, yeah, yeah. having fun. We're having fun here. It's so great. I mean, it's so great because you never know what's going to turn up. And that's, that's what's so... I like... I, I, love, I love fly fishing. And I, I could just fly fish every day and, and be happy. Because you're, you're casting and you're letting that thing drift. And you never know when that big, that big one's going to strike, you know, whether it's a trout, Atlantic salmon or whatever. And I always let, the ones I do manage to catch, I lose a lot of them, uh, I always let them go. Now, catch and release, I believe strongly in catch and release fishing, unless you're starving and need something to eat. So, so oh, um, 
May I bother someone for some water, if you wouldn't mind? Uh, anyone? Any? Thanks so much. Um, great. Hello. What do you mean? Oh, hello. How, are, How you? are you? Our next guest. Nice to see nice you to again. Hi, nice to see you. Yeah. Great to have everyone here today, our big adventure. Thanks. So, Thank you, and um, I can't bring them up on the stage, but yeah, I, do you mind? Okay, I can put one up uh, if you don't mind. Okay, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll put it right up there. Thank, thank you, Brandon. Okay, so why not put it right up there? I don't okay, want it to block you. But maybe if you stand on that side, can you guys get both of us? Yeah, we're good. You stand. Okay, yeah. Great. No, you can just yeah, just tell me. All right, well, uh, thank you for having everyone here and being here, Lee. I know we're really excited. Thank and you. I'm Catherine with Paper City, so welcome everyone to the halls. Uh, and I brought this, these chairs are very interesting because they came from the Heritage Society. I just acquired them. And the director, Allison Bell, said hello to you because you and your brother have been featured at one of the Heritage Society luncheons. So these actually, this is the first time they've been out of the Heritage Society because I bought them about six months ago, a whole set of nine piece set, they were decommissioning for, I got them for $100, so I couldn't say no. And they were actually originally from Round Top. They were acquired by Bill Hill, who was a big American collector. I think you probably must know yes. William, William Hill. Yes. And he acquired them for the Pilo House in the Heritage Society, which was the Henke Pilo. They owned a grocery store. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they were, a had to be removed from the house after the hurricane so you know I'm just really happy I'm going to take a couple of these home with me today and install them in my house in, in Spring Branch so you live I, in Spring Branch yes and yes and I I feel like I know a little bit about them but obviously you're the you're the oh, expert no I want to, Catherine first I want to say get, um, it, it's such an honor to be part of this event hosted well, in, in part by Paper City with Ruby Lane and and it's so exciting for well, me we're, to be we're here. We're thrilled to have you and we just met Alex and of course Holly and Jim. We're just thrilled to have you know our own keynote, big keynote event here oh, today. Oh, you're, you're, yeah. you're really kind. Thank you. And then, and so, so, <clears throat> what, you, what do you know about the, the chair? I really don't. You know, I'm an American furniture. I, I love American furniture. So I, I felt like they were probably American, probably after the Civil War around that time period. Yep. And that's all I, all I would know. Yep. Okay. Yep. You probably know more than you're not telling me about I, no? I really don't know I'm anything. Look at her face. She thinks she knows more. Does she? No. Look at that face. Look at that. <laughs> she does. I, no, but you, you, but you hit it on the head. I mean, you said what, after the, the Civil War, right? And, and I didn't, you know, I, I don't think they're a famous maker. I mean, they look mm. in that style. Right. So <clears> yeah, I'm going to, this is your, this is no, your but, area. <clears throat> No, pardon me. So, so no. Listen, thank you. I I love the fact that they're they're. Well, first of all, we're looking at right a Victorian walnut chair, of which they, this is this is like all the rage right in the eighteen from the eighteen fifties to right up through the eighteen seventies. You know, like for a good twenty five years, literally this Victorian style, named after of course Queen Victoria in England, was just just everybody loved it and. It was, and, and it involved, and when the chairs were upholstered, they were really puffed up. You know, like a Jiffy Pop? Remember Jiffy Pop? I love Jiffy Pop. Totally. Oh, yeah, yeah, break it open, right? But, you know, and it, it, they're upholstered very high, and that's, this is correctly upholstered. I don't even know if some of the original upholstery. You know, they're, there. they're just, you know, right. some are in better but, condition than others. I, yeah. No, that's okay, but they've been, and they've been, re, they, they've been recovered, yeah. of course, yeah. with this, with this silk, and with this tape along the edge, but the, the the Victorian era basically took the Rococo in era and and then just brought it to another level with sometimes and sometimes too much decoration. You know, like I say, too much, a lot of a lot of fussy decoration because that was the style. These actually though are because they're they're and, and those were made by firms like Belcher, Belcher, as you know, and Meeks in New York City. And as you probably know, these are not by Belcher or Meeks. And if you had a pair of those chairs, it would be... Well, they, th those are, you know, just sort of the, the ultimate of the time period, right? Kind of the, yeah, exactly, like Ferrari or yes, whatever, yeah. uh, race cars yeah. from a certain period, right? Yeah. But, and they were in New York City, and the, this is beautifully made. It's a lovely walnut, and walnut was the wood of the Victorian era. It really was. And walnut, and, and, then, and then oak for the late Victorian, the golden oak age, right? But this is the 1850s or 60s, you were right on there. 
and maybe even early 70s, and it has at the top, we have this, this kind of Rococo little, can you guys see it there? This kind of cresting up here, and this is a, a laminated back, uh, upholstered with an oval, and it's concave, right, nicely upholstered, and as the, the seat, you come down to this, again, chiffy pop seat, and, and that's not an official term, you guys, and, um, and this Rococo motif kind of in the middle. But the nice thing is you have this continuous line that runs along here, and then the feet are scrolled out. And it has the original casters down there, uh, Kathy, Kathy. It's interesting. Yeah, the original, literally, the original casters. With ebony as the wood, which oh, is so that's great. that's ebony? Wow. That, that is actually ebony. It's a really black, black wood that, that goes to a a kind of greenish uh, color and so hard as uh, hard as rock you know and they haven't broken and the original casters with this little uh oh look has a, a name here uh, th this was i think literally from the heritage society oh, when they yeah. it was they must it's have deaccessioned it so when they write the little museum label on got it, it like yeah. a catalog yeah. and yeah. accession yeah. number okay so anyway anyway to, to, these are, to, to cut to the quick they're, as you probably yeah. know, they're not huge. Well, they're, they're not a big maker. They're no. not like the, you know, yes. the Belchers or yes. Mates, as you said. And even that market has been, has to be frank, has yeah. gone down in, yeah. in recent years. But, had, you know, for, for the Belcher and Meeks, but they're really nice looking. They're nicely upholstered. And, and I think you can insure them. You know, if you put, a, if you, have a, you have a home insurance or whatever, yes. right? So you can insure them. Insurance again is a little higher than you know right. for for I mean, I'm above fifteen hundred dollars yeah. you know I for insurance. I figured they would probably be about, about yeah, that. Yeah, for insurance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that because again, insurance is higher than fair market. But you know, if if you went out to buy a pair, you wouldn't. You know, you could. It might. You know, it it, it, it might be less. But you know what? They're lovely and they've got a great story. And I love that time period too. So uh, you know, you know. Do, do you have other things in your home like uh, that? I, I grew up in a Victorian home, so I just really uh, respond to that time period. It's one it, of my favorites. Yeah. Does that remind yeah. you? I mean, your your parents uh, collected? Yeah. It? Yes. Yes. So. Um, that's a Victorian house outside of Pittsburgh, so these kind of make me think of uh, that whole thing. That's not that, yeah. that's, that's yeah. That, that that see that's worth that's yeah. worth more than the, the insurance value. That's exactly. worth exactly. That's yeah. worth yeah. you can't put a number on that. Yeah, you know. So. Thank thank you though. Thanks for sharing them. Well, thank you so thank much. You, it's so you, great to you. have thank you here in Round you. Top at the Hall. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. They're really nice. Let me take these. I got them. Yeah. Great. And then next we have, yes, I, I see a, I, the you. clock is ticking, and the not on the presentation, but a clock over there. I see, a, I see a, a shelf clock. It's like a mantle clock, actually. And um, so uh, now don't, don't forget, uh, tomorrow I want to say, while we're, while we're on here, we're going to actually go antiquing. We're going to go through Round Top. And, uh, and find treasures. And we're going to have a camera crew in tow. My son and Brandon and I are going to go treasure hunting. Okay? We're going to find all kinds of stuff. I want to see if we can find some sleepers, right? Yeah. Have you found any yet? Anybody here out there? Not yet? Well, you haven't. You've been sitting here. That's why. Yeah. Wait, wait. I've mean, been wasting my time with Lee Kino and. Sorry, well, back of my oh, there. Oh, <laughs> the, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Thank you so much. Sure. Yeah. So I'm going to get it. Let's do Ooh. Oh, yeah, the door's open. Thank you. No, I got that. Wonderful. My name's Hi, Lee. I'm Anna. Anna, nice, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, Lee. A pleasure. So, Anna, tell us the story. Um, this of is this. a clock that um, was in my father's clock collection. Okay. He was a horologist in okay. the Houston area for over 40 years. Really? Okay. Uh, I grew up with clocks. Uh, we always had clocks chiming and striking in our house 24-7. Right. Yep. Um, and he had his favorites, and this was one of his favorites, and um, I just loved them. I fell in love with clocks and the stories that he told about them right. and imagined what they were like in a home you know, two, three hundred years ago. Um, this particular one, uh, from what I'm told, is a double fusee movement. Okay. Uh, I think that's the mechanism that winds and unwinds the clock and right. powers the clock, mm -hmm. which makes it a little special. Right. Um, I just think it's very unique, a beautiful piece that uh, looks like it has a lot of history. Well, it sounds like you, you really, it sounds like you know your clocks growing up with them, that's, yeah, I, which is kind of cool. I, yeah, I love them. You love them. And, and um, 
So you have you bought? Uh, first of all, it's, I mean, was this your, one of your father's? You said your fa one of his favorites. This was. And and therefore probably is your father your father with us? Your father? No, he passed away about sorry. ten years ago. I'm and sorry. so my brothers and I have uh, clocks that we have consumed, uh, and no. yes, and so now we're the keepers of the clocks. Yeah. Um, and, and this particular and clock was uh, is with my right. father. Uh, my my it, oldest brother. Is with your oldest brother? Okay. And, well, so he, he's probably watching, right? So he's uh, kinda, He probably is. Okay, okay, <laughs> that's good. I opened up the back, and I'm sorry, you, you, you know what's back there, but I have to show the camera sure. here. And um, here on the back, you, you have this, well, first of all, let's, let, me start, let me start with what, what, what I think we have, which I'm sure you could talk about just as well, because you know, you know your stuff. But this is a, an, uh, it's a London 18th century uh, clock from the, I think the, I'm guessing the third quarter of, of I, I haven't checked the maker though, the River and Sun, Cornhill, London, because I don't have, I'd have to have an I, iPhone okay. up here. So, no, but this, it, it, what, what, the thing that we look for, first of all, it's a, 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 a they call it, as you know, a carriage bracket. clock, a bracket clock, and the carriage clocks are really small. This is a bracket clock, and they often, it's also because they were sometimes I think the name comes from, you may know, on a bracket on the wall, but they also often had bracket feet. Mm -hmm. And this has original brass bracket feet that would have been made in Birmingham, England, where they made brasses and handles and everything. They had a huge industry and exported to America, you know, all that stuff. And this, this is beautifully engraved and it has a beautiful patina to this, to this, uh, this clock. And uh, a little pull string on the side, right? Which, yes. Which, Do you know the story about that? Maybe I, you can tell uh, me. No, I more. like. Uh, no, uh, maybe you. you know, uh, I mean, what what I'm told yep. is that a person could pull it. Yep. And it would strike. Yep, like it is now. And it would tell you the closest hour of the time that it is of the day. Exactly. Yep. And so a person could be in their chair in the other room and have a string with a levy that would yep. pull and they would not have to get up and walk around to look at the clock they could just pull the string and know what hour that's, it was more or less exactly right that's so cool yeah. and then isn't it neat that was kind of cool and isn't it third quarter yeah. of the 18th century that's, that's, <laughs> yeah. you know these guys were inventive and amazing yeah. i mean you know and 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 actually i hadn't thought about the story about the being in the other room but yeah. you're right why get up and right. you're sitting there with your port and it's after dinner and you got the fire burning and like eh, yeah, let's see, how is it? see if the wife wants me to go to bed yet well now nowadays uh, it's on the computer and uh, you know right. you've got it all in front of you so this this the, this, this clock is wonderful and and the little pull string by the way that we're talking about sorry about the you guys is this this little guy here that that you would pull, and um, and it would give you the the closest hour, which is so cool. And but one thing that overall though, you have a dome top, you have a you have a pure side so that you could hear the the the, the bell, the the chime. And um, one one thing with the, the people, we appraisers of clocks uh, look for to. to, to, to know if the works are original to the case because that they were often switched around mm -hmm. is the 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 saddle board which is inside here and in really interestingly i've seen works that are not original to the, to the case and it affects the value mm -hmm. a lot okay and um and i got good news you know i mean you might have known this because like my dad bought this of course he's not going to buy one in the place for it you know but th th this is absolutely original i mean because the saddleboard reflects that mm -hmm. there's no extra holes mm -hmm. on from another from being in another clock because they would have it would it would show and it's kind of hard to see see that get in there with the camera i think if i even tip it but we're talking about this saddleboard which the works are attached to and um i there's it's absolutely original it's it's mahogany it's got the right uh it's got one rose head head nail so an early nail and so this is just absolutely right it has all the right all the little repairs we love to see like this little repair to the molding here uh there's a just a little uh it just it just it it, it tells the story of itself just by it's i always say that a a, a piece of a piece of surface it's everything else is a record of its kind of a, a recording of its life mm -hmm. right exactly. and and when you clean it all up and polish you erase that tape mm -hmm. that tape recording now it's not a tape it's a digital icloud yeah. thing or something but you, you clean the 
the, yeah. the, the iCloud out. But, um, I love uh, that it has a calendar as well. Yes, a calendar indicator. And, that, and that's what adds to the value. You know, that, that really does. I mean, this calendar indicator telling you the day. I mean, this is a jazzed up. Yeah, no, no. And it works in perfectly. It I, keeps perfect time. Perfect time. And, 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 and that, that, yeah. that, that bell is so nice. Absolutely original bell. Even it, it even has the original knot on top yeah. of the bell, which you guys just saw. But, you know, it's, it's just absolutely great. Um, and, and again, I like to just quickly talk about surface that has that warm color to the mahogany. I was going to say walnut, but it's mahogany to the mahogany. And I, I'm afraid to tip it on its back, though. You ever tip it on? Yeah, I can I'll, do it. I can I'll do it. Over. If you don't mind, I can do it because sure. I, I want to make sure I don't put my hand on the uh, hold the door, okay? Mm -hmm. And I've got this. I just want to make sure the works were secure. No, it, they are. Okay, so I, I want to show uh, the audience the feet because you want to look at the feet and down here, literally, I don't know how, if you can see that. I, I, have a, I have to pull up, bring my flashlight. I actually have a, uh, 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 a light that, that, uh, so the camera could see. But the, anyway, the screws, each screw has an offset. You know, when you look at a screw, it has an offset slot. It's not down the middle. It's off to the side, you know, a little bit. It's, way, it's just a little bit off center. And these are all handmade mm -hmm. screws, brass in Birmingham again. And they'd never been moved since the, the day the guy turned them in the, in the, in the 1770s, you know, from um, uh, River and uh, Son. Yeah, River and Son and, 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 and Cornhill. I mean, literally, that's it. And then for hundreds of years later, here we, we sit with the clock. <clears throat> it's had a wonderful journey through time. It's wonderful that it reminds you of your dad. Yep. Everything and uh, yeah, it is. is he a great guy? He was a great guy. I can tell you love your dad. I, I love my dad. That. Yeah, that that's 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 wonderful. That's uh, well anyway. Oh, uh, 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 that number, the serial number, is that? Yes, and that was added. That was probably added later. You guys can't see what we're talking about. Let me see if it's added later. Um, sorry, guys. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I just wanted was the year or the serial number? Is it's that a serial happened? number. Yep, uh, 1125. We're okay. looking at on the back. So, the, and it's, it's just a little number. And actually, you know something that that is actually original. That is actually the same engraving, the same style letters. Mm -hmm. You know, they would they wouldn't have matched it. But that's just that would have been a number to, to help keep the keep the clock uh, to keep the for the clockmaker to put it in the right case to you know and uh, all kinds of reasons. So it's a striking. Um, uh, clock here, uh, yeah, a wonderful example that you could portable too. You can yep. take it in the, in mm -hmm. the carriage, and, uh, and it's fabulous. And do you have you had it appraised at all? No. No, not, 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 no reason to, right? No, so, yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, for insurance value, again, the, you know, the market for English furniture has changed a bit, but you know, recently there have been some great prices for great things. Mm -hmm. So, when you have a category like this where the, the, where the, um, you know, where the, where the, where the, you've got everything, all the bells and whistles, mm -hmm. the, the striking alarm, mm -hmm. uh, striking um, uh, bell here for to, to, to tell the time, and um, you've got it's signed front and back. The works are original, you know, to the, to the, to the case, and it's and it's a pure Georgian style, you know, um, and it, it's got great colors. So adding that up, I think you, you can ensure this. That this particular clock for you know for north of seven thousand dollars seven to nine thousand uh, dollars in that range yeah easily yeah I, 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 I mean this is that you know you know and you're never going to sell it you're never going to sell it but you know uh, fair market would we'd be just a little less to sell it you know right. today you put it in an auction yeah. but you're never going to you know, no. why sell it no. of course you never would it's and clock. it's a great great clock and um it's it's really yeah. really nice. I'm I'm really wow. pleasantly surprised to wow. see it because I just saw it on a list that uh, yeah. you're bringing a clock and uh, it's uh, I want to touch you. it a little longer if you don't mind. You know, so <laughs> that's Thank surface. You. I'll tell you this. You know, the, the tactile. You use all our senses, and and, and I can mm -hmm. tell you, you use some furniture uh, with a beak like this. It really works. You can <laughs> smell. I can smell the um, furniture polish. You put a little bit. I, I polished it up a little. A little bit. bit of yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You can't get away with anything, <laughs> you know. No, but seriously, that's that's fine. And that's yeah, fine. I to like do. it just the way it is. I just love it. I yeah. love the fact that you haven't yeah. cleaned it. I don't. I, I don't want to change it. Uh, you 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 have a wonderful clock. Yep. Let me hand it. Uh, um, okay. Let, let you get down well, first. Let me get down, and then I'll. Just a sec. 
Thank you very thank much. You, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. It's striking. It's great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you all. So we have some fun things coming up, I know. And um, you can just come up, sir, if you want. I, I guess you're... Oh, okay. Oh, you got to get the mic. Okay. You're right there. Yeah. We're going to... We have... Um, and again, remember that tomorrow... We're going to go on an amazing treasure hunt, um, uh, all of the people watching on Ruby Lane, and um, we're going to have fun. We're going to really, I can't wait. I, was, I drove here this morning from a hotel and with my son, and we were, we were looking at all the different shops, and we wanted to stop, but we had to, we had to get here. And so it was this okay. pull, it was like, God, we want to stop, but we have to be on time, got to stop. So tomorrow we get to really go, go hunting for treasures here at uh, Round Top. Hello, sir. Hi, Lee. Bill. Hi, Bill. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Bill. Very nice to meet you. What, what's the story? I can't follow some of these stories that have been coming up. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a good one. Um, this was a dump find when I was 13 years old. Wow. Um, I've had it for 50 years now. Okay. It's made in French Indochina. Right. Um, through the years, that's involved Cambodia, Laos. Thailand and Vietnam. Right, right. And uh, <clears throat> it ended in 1954. Okay. That's about all I can tell you about it. And you, you, you how did you, you found it? In a dump. In a dump. Tell me that story. What, 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 I mean. um, it was a friend of mine and I, uh, we ride bikes, and in the 60s, it was, this was at the end of a road, and it was just a dump site. People right. just drove the end of the road and they'd throw, throw their trash away. Really? Um, and this was found there. You, you, I mean, you, you, you found it. I found, you found it. it. Yeah. That must make yeah. cool. I mean, to be young, yeah. you know, like a bike, and you see that you, you're sticking up out of the trash. Yep. Wow. That is. And I want to tell my sisters right now, if they're watching, I did not <laughs> steal it. You didn't steal it. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. <laughs> that Listen, that is really, really a nice thing. I'm looking. I'm, I'm just looking at the way it's made inside. So what? What you, you have is a, a, a cast. It's pretty heavy. Yeah, it's it is pretty. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. I always is. thought it looked like copper, but I'm not sure of that. Yep. It, it is. It is bronze. You know, it's like a copper with a mixture. Okay. They mix it with a little bit of. I think hmm, I should know zinc or something. Right. Just a small percentage to make it bronze. Right. But so it's got that color, and um, it's certainly this. Yeah, this uh, Thai uh, kind of Siam, they called right, Siam at right. the time, uh, looking headdress on uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, either a deity or it just may be a, just, uh, just it's something that, I'm right. going to tell you, right. would have been in a, in, a, in a shop over there that you could buy, you know, right. and, and, and it had a great look, and then you brought it back from Indochina, right. or, and they also shipped them, or shipped them over here, but it, so, I'm, I'm not actually saying that it's just a souvenir, sorry, because I, oh, I, hate, yeah. to, I hate to do that, but it is a souvenir. So I told you I couldn't follow their stories. Yeah, you're right, right. No, no, but come on, you found it in a dump. I mean, yeah, that's a that's, great, I mean, that's, but you can tell your friends, just, just tell them not to watch um, Ruby Lane at all, and just tell them that the guy said it was in, in a range under a million dollars, that's all he would say. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> okay, they, not, not that it was $10, yeah. but just oh, in a okay. range under a million, okay? Oh, that's fine. Then they, you'd be telling the truth. It was, yeah, yeah. Okay. see? No, just kidding, you won't do that, will you? I don't think. So, and i got to make up another story. I know, right, right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> make up a better one, right. <laughs> right, no, this is, this, is, this is a nice, I mean, it is a very nice thing. It made, again, I, I've traveled over there and, yeah. and, and, uh, in Cambodia and Vietnam, and I, lo I love it over there, but I try to go to the most remote parts that I could. And, but I did see, some, you know, Similar things. It was the, it was the 80s, late right, 80s, right. and uh, and uh, similar bronze pieces with, and this with this. I just could never find anything online about it. We, even when you, when you typed in the made in Indochina. Oh yeah, that part yeah. you can find about the yeah. history, the, right, right. of the countries. Of the country, yeah. yeah. The one, yeah, and, and uh, yeah, it's, there's there's some amazing French objects by people like Prouvé mm -hmm. and these great uh, furniture designers over in in uh, Southeast Asia. But, but this is a more of a decorative thing, you know, right. it's, it, you know and, and you would never had it appraised, I guess, right? No. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, and um, so, but. So but it's I, under a million dollars. It's under a million dollars. Right. That's it, that is, that's out of hand, under a million. Well, come on. All right. <laughs> but thanks, man, thanks a Thank lot, you. man. I want to let you know this visit was a birthday gift from my beautiful wife. Oh, that's yeah. really nice, right here? Oh, 
Hey, thank, thank. I don't know, he's going to say, why'd you, why would, why'd you give me that gift? I didn't, I didn't need to be leak, you know. Like, he told me my thank thing you. wasn't worth anything. Thank it's you. Under a million. Under a million, under a million, remember that. Just keep it, keep that story. Right. Thanks a lot, then. Okay, now, and we're just switching mics out, and uh, we have some other items coming up. Get a Get a mint. A mint? Yeah. This camera? Put it right here. Which camera? What do you say? It's on this camera right now. So you oh. have to, so just keep it. Oh. Okay, so we have another item coming up. And the thing is, we don't know exactly. I don't know what's coming up next. And yeah, I somebody, don't know I did exactly. see an image of, I, we have the, yes, this gentleman with some pictures. So yeah. I know they're, they're framed pictures. They look like drawings. Okay, yeah, yeah. well, I can get the, up there. Yeah. But I, I hand, I can, no, I that's fine. Them. Okay, you got it. You got it, man. Yeah. I'll grab, I'll grab them if you want. Okay. Yeah, well, no good. Problem. I Here. appreciate Here. it. Thanks a lot. That's great. That's great. Actually, thank you so much. Thank you. It, my name is Lee Keenum, uh, sir. What, your name is? Tom Burks. Mr. Burks, thank you. May I use your first name for the sure. camera? Thank sure. you. Um, and um, okay, let's see what we have here. What, what's the story on these? Well, uh, I inherited them. <laughs> you had from? from? Well, a long time ago, I was running cattle down in Belize, okay. and I uh, met this Englishman at the racetrack, and we got to be friends. And on his death, his wife told me that he wanted me to have these, and wow. so. Uh, so I've got them. That's so cool. So, so he left them to you. Actually, he left them to you. Yeah. You guys are friends, and you you became friends at the racetrack. You were running cattle yeah. to where? Yeah. Well, down in Belize. How I, cool I was is that? I had a cattle ranch. In in Belize, I, I, that's well, amazing. Well, British Honduras. Oh, I know. I I I've heard that bone fishing there is great for fly fishing. Yeah. In Belize, uh, in, Belize. In, in the flats. Do you fish? That's right. You do? I used to. Oh gosh, that guy, that's one of the best uh, bone fishing areas. I think that's east, uh, um, uh, actually uh, eastern Belize, right? But yeah. but but you met an Englishman. He actually left you these. I think that's cool because they're all they're all English, you know. Yeah. And how appropriate though. Have you looked? Have you had them uh, appraised? At no, all? no. I okay, no. okay. Um, this, I mean, okay. So what we're looking at, and um, so. If you want to close in, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, um, Tom, that I can't show them to you, but I'm, you know which one I'm looking at, so I can show yeah. the camera. That uh, this is a small sketch, watercolor and ink sketch, of, of um, it says underwriter, bad or good, news at Lloyd's Coffee House. So it's a, you know, it's a caricature, and this says Thomas. It says T. Rowland, son. T. Rollinson. I think that's a Thomas Rollinson. Thomas Rollinson. Okay. And, but, and, and, and I, I only happen to know about Thomas Rollinson because I've seen some wonderful caricatures mm -hmm. of, that he's done. And his whole life, he was born in um, the 18, I think the uh, 18, 17, 17, 15, yeah, right? 1780s. Se to the 1770s, right? Yeah. 1827. Right, died in 1827. So, so he worked in the right throughout the third quarter of the 18th yeah. century, I think. And um, so, that, and he did the, to stay out of debtor's prison because he was always, um, always uh, trying to keep working because he literally was in danger of going into debtor's prison all the time. Yeah. Maybe um, you know, uh, at, he would do these caricatures. And I just happen to know about Lloyd's Coffee House. Because it was one of the great places that you could have a conversation about politics, about do business deals, you know, and um, and and this is some char something something long lost to us, probably some some that was going on in the day that an underwriter bad or, or bad news at Lloyd's Coffee House, you know. Yeah, that was the origin of Lloyd's of London. Of Lloyd, that that, that okay, that's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that that makes that perfect sense. Yeah. yeah, it was. I think it was like the earliest coffee house. Yeah, uh, the social club kind of that yeah, you, that was. existed. So, did it go back to the 1600s? I think. Long, yeah, a long time. Yeah, I think I'm 16. Not even sure. I think 1660s, and, and and people like in the 18th century, around the time this was done, Ben Franklin was hanging out there, I, yeah. at, at Lloyd's Coffee House, and and. But, it's probably where the action was. It's where the action was. You wanted to make a deal. You wanted to get a tip on on, the, yeah. on shipping, and it was um, so. 
but these obviously a caricature. If this is um, well, I look. Like this guy's this guy's got as big a nose as I do. So, oh, I got to be. No, but there's, they're caricatures, so you know, got the lumpy face, and and, and this no, this guy looks like a Pinocchio situation. Yeah. But they are sketches in watercolor and ink on on early paper, you know, the, the period um, paper, and uh, and and so th we have this, we have this, which is not to tell you the truth that that's not signed. But it looks like it's no. by the same. Yeah, it's by the. Yeah, also by him, right? Right. Mm -hmm. As you know, you already knew that, right? Yeah. Yeah, and and this this little this says uh, 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 tamed creatures tamed confined. Yep, tame animals confined exactly. Yeah. And I, some nuns behind bars when these these kind of um, grotesque old guys you know leer in. So this this kind of making some kind of a uh, again a cartoon of the day, you know, a caricature and uh, sort of, sort of like Hogarth was doing and, and and all that during during the time. But he this guy was this artist Rowlandson was praised by people like uh, um, uh, uh, Copley and, and Benjamin West. They, they oh, literally yeah. talked yeah. about him during the day as being this great cartoonist. So he was he, and now we don't know his name a lot but anyway there's so we have two Roland, uh, Rollinsons and then we have this landscape. But what do you know about the landscape? Well it's just uh, during the Napoleonic Wars yep. they were marching to some seaport. To, right. So you can see that's a big long yep. a line long, of long line soldiers. of people. Did you have it? Did you? It was it came like this, right? No, I had to. I had to frame them because uh, for protection. Just for protection. They it were didn't. sent across the ocean in a in a cylinder. Really? A tube. A tube. That's probably the safest way, right? I mean, you know, yeah, I mean, as long as it's sealed yeah. up. But now they're. But you did a nice job framing them all, and. Um, so this this landscape's it very, that's exactly on the to it makes sense that it, the, yeah. it's the Napoleonic Wars that these soldiers are all my, it looks like the countryside's all getting together to support their country which yeah. they did yeah. uh, during the Napoleonic Wars in the late 18th century a nice uh, bucolic landscape though you know with a, a couple here watching and, and the boats are there and a, and a castle in the back in the background and he would do this sort of thing for dec uh, decorative. So he did these decorative works for the house and then the caricatures, you know. But all, the, all together, I mean, and I know you don't, like, you probably will never sell them because they're a gift from a friend. Well, you know. Well, the heck with it, right? <laughs> I love it. Well, well okay. Well, uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, I'm just chuckling because, like, I thought you were good friends with that guy. <laughs> you know, I'm kidding. Well, I know it, but, I'm, you know. I'm just, I'm just teasing. I'm, I had too much coffee this morning or something, but I, I, I think, listen, he would like you to do, he was your friend, and, and, and you know, like, you know, you could sell him and buy some Bitcoin or something like that, he wouldn't complain. Well, these, these are fun. These uh, they're are really fun, and they're, they tell a story about a certain time and, and a certain place, you know, when, when and, I, and they're wonderful. And Let's see, this one, for instance. That right here? You know, the, uh, what's going on there is, these old buzzards are <laughs> propositioning these girls in this convent, yeah, which it, was where, if you, somebody's daughter was a little bit frisky, they'd send them to the convent. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah. But they're in the innocent faces here, in contrast to these um, yeah. kind of grotesque uh, mm -hmm. older. Uh, what do you call them? That's a deck buzzards. No, what? The old buzzards. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's exactly what they are. And they're sitting there scratching their chin. So yeah, that See, that's, that's, their, that's their wallet. That's their wallet right here. Yep, and, yep. And tame, tame animals confined. You know. So, so you know, obviously being ironic and and all that. And uh, that, 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 again, he would uh, he would make enough money on this to make a living. So value wise, I, I, I don't know if you checked, but the 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 market over his work is kind of all over the place. But you know, his sketches like this, his watercolors. Uh, the, these bring in the hundreds of dollars, you know, kind of like the smallest one, like here, like probably you know, two hundred to four hundred dollars, and and this probably because because we know what's going on here, like you explained it so yeah. much more eloquently than I could, and he figured it out because I just knew there were two old buzzers looking at some nuns, and that's exactly I, I didn't know the story about the uh, if you're you know yeah. about the frisky part, and 
That'd be worth about probably about up seven hundred fifty dollars for that to a thousand even. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's uh, that's that's that, that and maybe even uh, twelve hundred dollars. I mean, we're talking about a late eighteenth century wonderful work mm -hmm. by by one of by a very well known artist. But he was very prolific, and that's that's why his name is quite well known mm -hmm. amongst people who collect drawings. And then this this large one is that signed underneath the mat at all? That's, that's no, signed. it's not. Yeah, I mean, it, it does look like his work. As I saw a couple landscapes, and you know, so he's, it, it, he was capable. Of, you can see of also had, adding depth to his pictures. You know, with perspective mm -hmm. and all that. He quite a great artist as far as being sketchy. He just sat there. It's like you feel like he kind of doodled and did this amazing depiction. You know, of these soldiers marching off. So. This, I think, would be worth upwards of, you know, uh, 1500 uh, to, to the right person. And, uh, you know, and if it can be definitely attributed to, you know, to the artist, you know, uh, maybe a little more, you know, um, to Rollinson. So, but thanks a lot. I, I think the story is great and it, it's, uh, you have good memories of being at the track with your friend, right? And, and, yeah. and, and I think the... That sounds fascinating. The cattle, the cattle uh, business to Belize it sounds exotic to me. To somebody from upstate New York like me, you know, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Well, uh, it was. Yeah, that, <laughs> that must have been. How far is Belize? I mean, did you? How far is that? Oh, it's on the other side of Mexico. Yeah, right. I know it's in South America, but it, mm. it, it, I know they have the. Uh, oh, it's it, alongside Guatemala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. you probably have some great stories. Yeah. Not for here. <laughs> That's right. We'll talk. We'll have a beer later or something. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So, you know. But seriously, thanks. Thanks so much for coming. I'm well, really. I'm really you're honored. You're welcome. To have, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for doing it. Thank you very. Really appreciate it. Okay, I get these. Hey, let me see if these I can. are really cool. Get down from here without breaking uh, my you'll, neck. You, you'll be able to do yeah, it. I'm going to frisk you here. Let me. Let me get this guy. Oh. Thank you so much. Sorry about that. Oh, you're Almost welcome. there. Appreciate it. I got both mics now. Watch out. <laughs> so, what do you, oh, we have coming up. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Thanks. Just one sec, you guys. Oh, thank you. Mm. Mm. Sorry, you're waiting. You're like, where's my picture? You're going to take it. Okay. So, um, Ooh, that's actually a I, break. I've saved the lines left over. One, one's a break. Fifteen minutes. Okay. See if I can get it to twenty minutes. Hey, it's going to be. Yeah. Sorry about that, you guys. We're next. we okay. uh, next is a violin. Let's, uh, let's have a hand. Let me do this other way. Yeah. Come on. Thank Give you. Give me a hand up. Appreciate you it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So. And I'm Lee. I'm Linda. Linda, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. You look lovely. Thank you. Thank you so much. Love you. So this was belonged to my grandfather and great grandfather. And okay. passed to my mother, yeah. and then to me. It's in terrible shape. I know nothing more about it than that. I don't know if any of the family ever played it, but it hasn't. The it's written on the inside. Yep. Mm -hmm. Stradivarius model, made in Germany. Yep. Rebuilt by J. N. Nolan, I believe, in 1938. I'll be down. Uh, yep. Let me just take a look here. Okay. And first of all, I have to tell you, I am, I am not, I saw that there was a violin and it had a, I had, a, a, and I, thank you for bringing it. I'm not, I hate to disappoint you, I'm not a, a musical uh, instrument. instrument expert. And I, I know a lot of, a lot of them, mm -hmm. and, and I've worked with them and, and filmed with them over, over the years. And they could, but I do know a couple of basic Basic things, okay. Basic things that I could tell you. And then you could, we could um, go from there. Okay. I'm sorry you're not getting my feed, are you? There. Okay. Sorry about that. So, this, the, uh, so, yeah, now, let me tell you, first of all, the, the provenance, you said it what came from your, it's come down three generations. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Three generations. And, and, and do you play violin? I do not. I play the piano, but not okay. the violin. Okay. And um, just one sec. Can you hold it? Hold please. It. Thank Slightly. you. So, I, I, first of all, I'm looking at it. First thing, uh, I, I, first of all, it looks like it's had quite a life. If this violin could talk, right? Well, I, my grandfather called it a fiddle. It wasn't a violin in his. Yep, <laughs> it, it, is a, it is a fiddle, right? It's a very a fiddle. A sophisticated fiddle. That's right. Okay. Um, it, I'll tell you, let, let me take a look 
Uh, I think. Boy, it looks like yeah, it's broken. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, just a sec. Um, this, I think this is an antique mic. There it goes. There we are. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> so, okay. Can you guys hear me? All right. Thanks. Thanks for waiting. Okay. I, first of all, again, I always look at the back, and mm -hmm. I'm going to jump right into it because, sure. I'm, again, I'm not, again, I'm not an expert, but I look at that very nice tiger maple, which you can see there on the back, but one of the first things we go to is, is it, the back. Is it a solid piece or is it? Right, exactly. Yeah. And, and you know what I'm going to say, that usually you want to see a solid piece right sure. there. Absolutely. You see how this is, this is uh, laminated down the middle. Ha and having said that, this violin has some age, as you know, you mm -hmm. can tell, but it has patina. And, and I, I wish, I was going to bring a light up. Uh, actually, maybe, um, if you wouldn't mind, an iPhone light would be great. Um, uh, I'm going to look inside really quickly. And, and then, okay, thank you. Okay. And let me, I'm just going to look here. Mm, yep. Yep. Yeah, I'll tell you. And I wanted to see if I could, I could see the, la the label. Just one sec. Um, oh, yeah, there it is. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And... It's always nice to see that something's repaired in, the, in a document of that back in 1935. And uh, oh yes, various, yeah, okay, model made. made in Germany. Yep. Okay. So and and rebuilt. Uh, yeah, as you said, by J.K. and and Low in 1938. Yeah, and the. So it's a Stradivarius model, so that, that means that the, you know, the design of it, it was right. Designed after a Stradivarius. After a Stradivarius, the famous violin maker, of course, mm -hmm. um, uh, from, the, uh, from 400 years ago, actually, from almost. Mm -hmm. um, and the, you know, the thing is, again, the first thing you want to do, again, is look at the back. You see the tiger maple, but on the original Stradivariuses, you had, and this is not pretending to be that, it's not a fake. I've seen fakes that are really oh, good. Uh -huh. Yeah, I've had people, uh, you know, run Believe up to me. Believe it was surely the Oh, the yeah, thing. absolutely. But, but this is not. This is like, uh, and, and uh, it, 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 it might need some repairs here and there, but uh, it's, it's, it's lovely. I, I think that the, uh, with something like this, the, the family history is so important because your whole it's passed and down for family a long time. has been passed it down. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and did it bring back memories when you were little? No, I really didn't even know it existed until yeah. I was an adult. Okay. So it's, just, it's been kept in, in a trunk of some sort. And, yep. and yep. Uh, as an adult, my mother said, we've got a Stradivarius. And yep. I was like, yep. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> that's, well, yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, that, that, well it's all right. She, she, yeah, she was, a, she was convinced. And she was convinced, I'm right. having this done simply in her memory because she wanted to do this oh, in her she, lifetime and she was not able to. She wanted to bring this in? Uh -huh. Oh, that's For our a, Antiques Roadshow, that was the, her, oh, her that, desire. That, that's so special. I mean, I think she did. <laughs> she's, she's watching, I have no doubt. That's, no, that's, that's, that's very, it is uh, touching and I, you know, and we, now, now we'll tell her not to watch. Because we're, we're <laughs> going to say, it's not going <laughs> to be what you thought. Just, just go get a coffee for a while and we'll be on, and then I'll tell you what. Yeah. Okay. So, no, seriously, it is a lovely thing. And that, that's where the value is, is the fact Absolutely. that she, your mom, you know, your mom would have loved to do it in person. I'm sorry. Oh, she here. would have. But, and, but I, I can I, represent her. <laughs> you are doing a good job of that. And, uh, and thanks. And, and, you know, I really even hate to put a value on something like this because... Uh, I um, really because, didn't expect one. <laughs> you know, exactly. And that's, that's what a lot of people tell me is that, Lee, I don't want to, I don't want to hear the value. I just want to know, you know, I just want to hear confirm something about it. Confirm what I think about it. Yeah, uh -huh. confirm what you think. And, yeah, uh -huh. and, and, and so, so although it's not a Stradivarius, it was made in the style of, and it was, and it's been around, uh, this has been around for at least, you know, at least until the late 19th century, is my mm -hmm. guess, mm -hmm. I, and, and possibly earlier. And again, well loved and well used. <laughs> well loved, well used. It has real ebony uh, here mm -hmm. uh, on, the, on the the bone, the the, the strut, and uh, this is beautiful wood, and 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 beautiful tiger maple, or curling maple as they call it. But mm -hmm. but um, but and I love the inlay, this double line inlay around mm -hmm. the edge. Did, did you know, see that? Uh -huh. I don't know if they. Sorry that you can't see in the in the audience, mm -hmm. but we'll. Close down in that light and dark. They call it. We call it stringing, stringing, ing, and uh, and that's just just gorgeous. Nice S curves there, right? Well, th 
Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. I appreciate really it. appreciate Thanks it. For your time. Yeah. Thank. Really Thanks great. For being here. Thank you very yes, much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Very nice. Thank you. Now we have. Oh uh, yes. Thank you. Thanks so much. Thank you so Line up. much. Okay, let me let me help you with that um, uh, that mic. I'll give it right here to my. Oh, my, oh, my mic. Yes, you do. Sorry, I'm frisking you. You are. Okay, okay. I won't. I promise I won't pinch. <laughs> okay. We'll get that. Oh, thank you. I'm gonna bring this right up here. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. We got. Mm, interesting, right? That's so easy. That's easy. I did. Okay. Wow. Hundred million, right? This could be the one. Uh, I'm coming. <laughs> thank you. You're coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. I'm, I'm Lee. I'm Jane. Jane, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You're lovely. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. I, I, here. I, I say that to the ladies from the bottom of my heart. The guys, yeah. they, they, they don't even hear me. I mean it. It's really Jane, Jane right? Yes. Is that with a Y? No, J-A-N-E. J-A-N-E. Thank you, Jane. Well, what's, the, what's the story? The story is uh, my father, uh, a medical doctor, was in Tianjin, China mm -hmm. at the end of World War II okay. and uh, became great friends with the Swiss Consul General. Uh, whose name was, his nickname was Snooks Jorg. Snooks. Snooks. Okay. And, and Trudy. And when they went, they were going back to, uh, to Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And my father had admired this so much and he gifted it to, to dad. Wow. And he's loved it all, you know, his whole life. He, he died uh, when he was 94 oh. back in 2009. I'm so but he sorry. gave it to me out of four children. He gave it to me and he said, if you ever have a chance to take it to on Antique Roadshow, please do. And oh. so I feel like I'm fulfilling oh, a, his that's dream. That's so nice, sweet. That's so sweet. That's sweet, isn't it? That? Yeah, that, that's. I, I kiss you for the I know. thing. <laughs> I tell <laughs> and that, No, right, right, right. That that's so touching, and that's um so yeah, sweet that you're so doing the this. Guan Yin, the yes. goddess of mercy. Right, exactly, exactly. Well, you're. Well, I always say you're. I'm sorry you hear hear about your dad that he had a good long life. I hope I last that long. Me too. Yeah, yeah. And he died of natural causes. <laughs> oh, that's nice. Yeah. That's, that's um, well. Thank you. Thank you for bringing it in. I, I happen to love uh, 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 all my life, but recently, intensely, Chinese works of art, and I especially porcelain, but also carvings. Oh. And 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 you you already, as you know, it's Guan Yin, who is uh, quite a famous uh, deity in Chinese literature, going back. Oh, going quite a ways back, going back into the Ming Dynasty. So going back into the way back, you know, but in this piece, and she's usually depicted, she's holding a, either a scroll or a rui, you know. Yes. Uh, you know, uh, 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 and, and they also call it a linjie. Uh, and, and, and she's, her, she's usually there's a wind blowing, so you have this windswept look, and often she's, she's, on, on the back of, of a fish, sometimes on a lotus plant. Anyway, mm -hmm. it's beautifully carved, and your dad loved, loved her for good, for good reason, you know? I just think she's beautiful. She's just beautiful. Um, I, you know, as a wood guy, I wish I could, I, I'm trying to, I, since you brought it up, I've been trying to figure out exactly what He's wood. said it was rosewood. Yeah. It, Do you it, think that? I think, you're, I think you're right, and there's a chance that there's a wood called Wang Wali, Yes, uh, Juan Wali. Uh, yeah, he Juan he Wali. told me about that. Did he? Yeah. Did he think it might? That, I mean, that's. Yes, he yeah, did. He yeah. did. Yeah. I mean, that it's Juan Wali has has uh, a particular grain in it. It's a it's a wood in China that was, as you know, it was actually uh, quite really desirable. You yes. know, I mean, they made furniture out of it for the emperor's family. They um, they made they made uh, things out of Juan Wali. But, well. Uh, uh, in the early Ming Dynasty, back into the uh, before, uh, into the 1400s, you know. Um, so I and, and 1300s actually. So anyway, uh, you, when furniture is made in Wang Wali, it's worth a, a fortune. And it also depends. So so in China, it, with with anything really, it depends what what something's made of and what age it was, what yeah. age it is. And in this case, we're trying to figure out the age. I think there is a chance that it's made of Wang Wali because it's very dense. And I'm looking for these little faces that you usually see. They're called like ghost faces. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not seeing them yet, but that doesn't mean this isn't Wang Wali or uh, Hongmu or some other wood like that. 
uh, but it has a nice patina. And people ask, like, why? What's the big thing about patina with a with a sculpture, right? Mm -hmm. but and and no. you know, you know, what do you? Th I mean, the fact is, the high points are nicely because it's been touched and it's been loved. Uh, her high points are light, and the dark, the, the parts that didn't get touched are dark. And that contrast, that, you know, is what makes it wonderful. You have sculptural 3D quality. When you, if somebody cleaned this all up, it would be more flat looking. You wouldn't, yes, have, you right? wouldn't have the, the patina. The patina, like exactly, the patina. And, and looking at the side on a robe, how so it's dark light, dark light. And that just makes it visually great. And, and, and so, it, it, it's a, certainly a lovely piece. I'm going to I'm going to help uh, to date the piece. We also we look at the bottom, and on the bottom, the way this is cut and everything, tells me a little bit about the age, you know. Mm -hmm. And um, it's 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 like chopped. It's not totally finished. So we know this is not it's not an imperial piece mm -hmm. because it would be totally finished. It is from the Qing Dynasty, so it'd be you know somewhere between 1644 in 1911 that that That's Qing true. dynasty with many many reigns in it but I think it's made it was made um, it, we have the Qing dynasty which went up to 1911 you also have a period just after that called the Republic period now and and as I say made in the Qing dynasty I'm thinking mm, maybe it's a little bit later than that mm -hmm. so it dates probably from the Republic period you know which went up um, from 1911 into almost the mid-century, you know, and 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 uh, some very major objects were made in the Republic period, you know. No. So, um, so this is really nice. I tell you that, right? <laughs> it's you know, good. Really, it's good. It's good. Yeah. You know, and but um, it's again, it's not going to have huge, huge value because this is not a, a, a something made, you know, during uh, for, you know during an, an imperial reign again. But p porcelain from the Republic period has sold for. You know, hundreds of thousands of dollars. You know, like oh, a, wow. a vase. Uh, oh, oh, I mean, so it doesn't mean that because it's 20th century, it's it's not valuable. And having said that, this has patina. This has this has color. It has weight, and it's made of a really nice wood. So, I mean, I, I, again, I I I don't like. I, your dad wouldn't have wanted to hear a price, ever. right? Not, ever. So I'm not even gonna. I, I don't want to um, undignify, I should say, my, the appraisal by giving a price. You know, uh -huh. and. But let, 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 let's say it's not huge, huge value, but it's also not uh, just a few dollars, you know? So it's just, it's, it's nice. Yeah, it's, it, it has emotional value, too, yeah. just emotional well, value. Well, the fact that you're here today is oh. like... Um, well, that I, makes me so happy. I, I'm, I'm, it makes me, I, and again, I, I, I would give you a hug, so <laughs> over, the, over that, and um, if I could. You. Thank you, well, I, I, thank you very much. It's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think, I think the Wan Wali wood, I, I believe, is extinct now. The Wan Wali, uh, they, they still, uh, the, the, there there's some? something called Zitan mm -hmm. that is extinct, almost extinct. It's a red wood that's one of the yeah. heaviest woods in the world. But the Wan Wali is very rare, but they still, they still, they still have, have it. Some? Yeah, yeah, they still have some, but it's, it's really rare. I, yeah. I was just quickly, I was going to say, when he was in, uh, what he refers to always as Peking. Yes, uh, instead of Beijing. <laughs> instead right. of Beijing. That, that goes back. Yeah. yeah. Um, he was befriended by the buyer for Gumps. Really? Oh my gosh. And he took him to um, a few of the shops and he brought some pieces home. I do have a, a chair made out of Wan Wali. Oh, wow. With the woven, the original woven seat. See, oh. And, I mean, anyway, well, beautiful. I'd like to, thing. love to see that. Yeah, I'd you love know, to show it, it to you. Okay. Yeah, but, well, well, I'll. I'll Get in touch, we yeah. If you find any porcelain around, let me know. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, great. Let me. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be over the it. next thank you. second. Like, thank you so ten much. minutes. Appreciate it. <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, I, thank, thank you. That great. That was, that was like a, you know, one, one thing I, one thing I absolutely love is that, um, is that to, to hear stories like that and, and like this and, and um, you know, it's just very touching. I just like, I don't, I, I um, a couple times I've, I've, I've been on TV and, got, and choked up and the camera guys are like, and then later they said, well, we didn't get the right angle, Let's, i, I got to reshoot that. And I thought, I'm not, yeah, not going to reshoot getting choked up. But that was touching, you know, because um, I love my parents and uh, my mom's gone. And, you know, I think of that and I miss my mom. So I'm going to get choked up. So, uh, no, anyway, listen, tomorrow, I just want to remind you while we're waiting for the next piece, um, are we going to take a break? Okay, just tomorrow, please remember that uh, we're going to be 
going antiquing tomorrow and having a camera crew with us we're going to try to find treasures we aren't not we're not going to try to find treasures we're going to find treasures okay so come along with us tomorrow on ruby lane it's going to be streaming live thank you we're going to take a break thank you guys thank you at six minutes we we'll back in we'll be back in 15 minutes are we back again one two by there tell me when you're back It's uh, really good to, to, to meet you. Oh, so nice to meet you, too. Yeah, Thank yeah, you so really. much. Yeah, really. Are we ready? He's ready. So, Kurt. Well, I just want to say on behalf of Camp for All, thank you to uh, Round Top Publishing and Paper City for this event, for being the beneficiaries of this event. And, and honestly, Lee, for thinking of the idea that this event should benefit more than just the the great antiquers who want to hear your advice, but also uh, a camp for people with special needs. And Camp for All, for those of you who don't know, Camp for All is a camp for children and adults with special needs and challenging illnesses. Right here in Burton, Texas, just down the road, I live there and uh, we're a camp that in a typical year, how many people have said that this year, right? In a typical year, we serve over 10,000 children wow. and adults with special needs and challenging wow. illnesses. Wow, that's, that's wonderful. When the, when the kids and the adults, when they come to camp, they get to do things like zip lining and swimming and archery, horseback riding, all the things that many of us did when we went to camp. But these are children with muscular dystrophy and spina bifida and cerebral palsy and cancer and kidney disease and heart disease and many, many others. And they get to come to camp and they get to be a kid. They get to figure out what they can do as opposed to what they can't do. And so I just want to say that, that's great. thank you. I just want to say that we are so excited hey, that you're doing this. Thank thanks, you thanks, so much. This has been you. a great event. Kurt, I really appreciate Kurt, it. Thank you. It's an honor to be uh, for doing it for such a great cause. And um, you know, I understand that also at Camp for All, you, you have students that go to the camp and get a different perspective on life, spending a day there with we the, do. With we the do. students. There are, there are, there are uh, schools in the Houston area that serve a variety of different populations, kids with different learning disability or learning abilities, disabilities, all kinds of things. And they'll come out to camp during the weekday during their school time and really get a sense of what it's like to be around different people. They get to be around people who are like them and do some amazing things. And uh, um, even today, I've heard um, some great stories of uh, a parent who has a child that's been able to come to camp for all because of a school that that child went to. And, and that's the impact that we make. And that's wow. the impact that you're making by doing this and that all of you are making by being here. So I really do appreciate you guys being here. Thank you so much. Thanks, Kurt. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you man. Thank you. Okay. So you know what a good cause this is for. And I'm, it's, I'm actually proud to be yeah. a part of this uh, anyway. But to, to know that Thank it's you. benefiting Thank Camp for All is like makes it a whole mother level. I mean, so, um, and so we're. Pretty soon we're going to have our next guest, and it um, looks like an interesting object. I, I, I don't think I saw an image of this. And again, that's what makes it fun, is that it's kind of like we're winging it, and it makes it, it's, it's, uh, it's not reality TV like where you, um, where you plan out the next part. You know, it's, as, it, as it goes along, we do it, you know, it's, right? Well, it's like instant appraisal. So um, I think I lost my clip, but see what I mean? It's, it's real time. Uh, do, you have that, do you have that clip anywhere? It's like, I'm going to find a treasure sometime, but not at finding a mic clip. I don't know where that might be. Yep, I'm back. No, I'm, got, I'm back. I'm got, I, didn't, I, didn't, I did not even have alcohol for lunch, I promise you. Wait. Oh, there it is. Oh, it's on my tie. You tricked me. Okay. Thanks, not intentional. Thanks. Thanks so much. Okay. Thanks so much. Come on up, please. Oh, mm, looks interesting. How are you? Hi. How are you? Uh, fine. How are you? I'm, I'm Lee. I'm Holly. Holly, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We shouldn't shake hands. Oh, we're sorry. Yeah, it's my fault. <laughs> I put my hand up. Holly, thank you for bringing this. What's, what do you know about it? Um, I know very little. Um, it was my step grandmother's. Mm -hmm. And um, she, she was born in 1904, and I know she studied in France when she was young. Yeah. And um, as my grandmother, I know she um, went there twice a year, uh, every year in April and October. She was a real Francophile. And I got this, she died in 87, but I got this in 97 when my grandfather died. Okay. And the, pin, the pin's Sorry. gone. Your grandmother yeah. died? Um he died in 97. Uh-huh. 
and you've taken yeah. good care of it ever since. I see the little hinge there. Yes, right? yes. Right. You have a little hinge on it. And so that, uh, so, so I tried to I tried to find the um, the who these these figures the were. Right, yeah, right, right. But I haven't had any luck, and yeah. I may have been. Um, looking in the wrong century. I don't really know. What, what century were you looking Well, I was thinking, um, I was thinking that maybe it was like a, a revival of Rococo. Okay. But maybe it's not. I don't know. You, you do pretty good research, I say. You're pretty good. <laughs> because I, I'll cut to the chase. Yeah. I mean, it really is uh, kind of a Rococo revival. Yeah. Piece. But here's the catch: it's beautifully made. Uh huh. Because yeah, we saw it had a piece earlier. That we talked about. Do you, do you feel that? You probably felt it. Yes. Uh huh. That, that, that right. That, uh, it's a slightly rounded base, and that was to ground away the pencil mark again for this hand-blown piece of glass. Okay. It's ground away. You know, it's this little disc. It's kind of hard to see. I think um, where, on the camera, but maybe you can see it. You can feel it certainly. You and. Yeah. You want me to hold it? No, I got it. Okay. Yeah, if you don't mind, I'm showing it to you. Oh, you But thank you. I'll be really careful. All right. I know people, when I was 12 and went to reach for stuff, they go, <gasps> that, that hippie's touching my china. <laughs> and then I start talking to them about it. They say, oh, you, you know about antiques. You're 12. <laughs> and they, they wouldn't have, they stopped having a heart attack. Yeah. That I was going to break it. But this is, you're right on the nose. It's broken Code Bible. Okay. You know, and... And because I, I, I gotta tell you how, how, how I, I, I know, and you might have figured it part of this uh -huh. out, and is that it's the way it's cast. And you look at the casting for the Rococo, the kind of combination of Renaissance revival uh -huh. and some Rococo. Yeah. Yeah, the Rococo being asymmetrical up here. And, but this is a cast, what is it, cast, uh, it, it, it is, it is, it is a, a brass, so I was gonna say mm -hmm. bronze. And, and it has these little, these kind of figures. I think, I'm guessing this is, these are people like, they usually put Robespierre, like Shakespeare, okay. all the different, different um, monumental people. Uh -huh. And I think we may have, uh, may, may have Queen Victoria added. Right oh, wow. In the, I'll show the camera in the front, right there. I, possibly Queen mm -hmm. Victoria. Okay. Which, yeah, which should make, Probably this in English, English piece okay. in the French taste. Oh, interesting. You know, English and um, in, in the French taste, in the kind of the, almost like, actually the Louis the Thirteenth uh, mm -hmm. taste that they, they, they supposed to be. But but it, you know, it's kind of like these revivals were kind of like a, a chili where you took a little bit of this, a little bit of that, mm -hmm. and then you made a you make a bowl of chili, shake it all together, and you mix them all together, <laughs> right? And it comes out. Oh, so it's not one style. Right. right. It's a it's a it's a good bowl of chili, you know? I'm hungry, I like, I like chili, too. Uh, nobody's offering us any, so I'm not, <laughs> it looks like I'm not gonna get any. Anyway, I, do you, what would you like to know about this, though? Do you um, wanna know how old? Well, or? yeah, I was wondering how old it was, and, and, and that's great to know that it's English, maybe, and not French. And not French, yeah. and this little cast figure on top, this kind of uh, chinoiserie figure, mm -hmm. um, is, uh, it looks like a little, um, you know, Chinese, it's certainly, yeah, an Asian, kind of a Buddha mm -hmm. type figure. Kind of, you know, that's kind of the Chinese Chippendale mixture of it. And right. that bowl of chili, you know, that creates this is piece. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll stop doing the chili analogy, sorry. And the, oh, but, and then I wondered about these ovals, these okay. little applied ovals. Yeah, and that's, these are what I think are the, the characters, they're, they're glass, uh -huh. and they're, they're, they're kind of, in, they're printed on there. It's like a transfer process okay. that they okay. would have used uh, to transfer the, the, onto this little panel, mm -hmm. which is held by this mesh around it. So they're not part of the glass here, but they're kind of applied panels. Right. And it's a cool little, and you probably, you know, the thing is you say, what, what I'd say, what is it? You know, mm -hmm. and that's a good question because it, it's like an ink wall, you know? Yeah. But it, so you see that, you see the, 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 there it was snapped off, it's just where the where it was blown. Right. See it's uneven kind of in mm -hmm. there. And um, and it could be it's too big for a perfume bottle. Yeah, that's what I was so, wondering because if it's yeah. perfume, that's it, it, you know, it, it's absolutely pretty possible, substantial. You know? And yeah, it's absolutely possible. But anyway, the, and, and these but these characters, I'm pretty sure that's Queen Victoria, uh -huh. which would date it from the that. second half of the 19th, you know. Okay. You know, okay. Um, or early second half. Okay. So. Value-wise, it's not going to be great, but it yeah. has sentimental value, mm -hmm. right? Right, you know? right. It's going to be like, you know, and usually on, on uh, you guys, oh, oh, 
<laughs> my mic, yeah. You guys, you guys. <laughs> I'll tell you, you guys, you can't let me. No wonder they, you guys missed all my good jokes. <laughs> Somebody get it like, like <laughs> all that time I was micless. Oh my gosh. Well, you guys, are, I'm, I wonder why you weren't laughing at my jokes. <laughs> that was, I feel much better. Gosh, you missed some good ones, I'll tell you. Jeez, I, I was going to ask my son, I'm going to take this off my tie, off my tie, and put it on my jacket. <laughs> Sorry about that. You know, I, I, that, isn't that funny? That is not funny. <laughs> you guys, I was sitting there going, what's going on? Sorry about that. Yeah. Oh, you guys are good. Thank you. I'm going to put this right on my jacket. Is that better? Is that all right? Okay, okay, come on a little closer, just a little okay. bit, okay, okay, so, that's good. I love the fact, no, this, this is what I love, so we, you guys missed all that, so basically we were saying that this is probably a perfume bottle, I think you're yeah. right, and okay. then you, you kind of guessed that, in the Rococo style, and um, uh, kind of with a little bit of um, uh, Renaissance uh, revival mixed in, yeah. with a little bit of chinoiserie mixed in with the with the figure on top, mm -hmm. you know the uh, little uh, uh, Buddha type figure. Yeah. So so it's all these things mixed together, and on the sides we have people that are probably like Shakespeare with the beard. I'm mm -hmm. guessing that's Shakespeare, mm -hmm. and uh, one's uh, Robespierre. I think I'm prob probably pronouncing his name wrong, and but people of of, of uh, re renown, you know, yeah. and then que we think that's Queen Victoria. I, and I guess that's Queen Victoria um, here, right, mm -hmm. right in there. Mm -hmm. you know, that so, makes more sense. Yeah, yeah, how, yeah. Holly, it does. And the color. I'm an interior designer. You, oh, you're an interior. <laughs> she couldn't resist. Interior designer. That's great. That's great. Do you design homes right here? And, y yes, residential. Yeah. Color schemes are important. Oh, that's great. What, what's your business name? Hollis Hibbert Can I get a plug here? Sorry? Uh, Hollis Hibbert Design. Hollis Hibbert Design. Yeah. Hope you yeah. don't mind giving like that giving plug. It. I'm the one that pulled it out Thank of you, you, so it wasn't. <laughs> listen, look, now, that Hollis Hibbert Design. Well, yes. and you find things a lot of times at, at, here at Round Top? I do. Okay. I do. And, and my mom was an antique dealer. Oh, really? And, uh, she specialized in English, so English. I'm embarrassed that I didn't know this was English. The, don't be embarrassed. <laughs> don't be embarrassed. I mean, I you know, I, at all. That This is a lovely thing. And yeah. you guessed, you guessed, you said possibly. I'm looking in the wrong century. You were looking in the 18th century first, but it's 19th century, yeah. post 1850, 1850 to 1870, and um, a lovely piece. And I think the coolest thing is that that's probably Queen Victoria, mm -hmm. which makes sense. It makes sense. Right. It makes puts it in, in England, not mm -hmm. in in um, in France. Right. So in the castings, which you guys missed earlier, but the castings we were talking about, you missed all the secret stuff, all the good stuff. <laughs> but why these are not 18th century? why they are actually just all the secret stuff all the good stuff <laughs> but why these are not 18th century why they are actually they're actually 19th century uh castings but seriously it, it, it's just because of the lightness of them if they were 18th century mm -hmm. they, as you guess they might be a little heavier mm -hmm. a little more of a little more substance right but that doesn't mean that it's not a lovely thing mm -hmm. and it's your family keepsake yes. so i don't want to really put a value i mean it doesn't have tremendous value you know you know, under yes. under under three hundred dollars or mm -hmm. so. Okay. You know, but the, the and the, don't worry about the hinge. I wouldn't. You know, I, I, if it doesn't oh, bother yeah. you, it doesn't bother me. Doesn't bother. Won't bother anybody. Thank you so much, Thank though. You. It's really a special keepsake. Thank appreciate you. Appreciate it. Really appreciate it. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Thanks, Holly. Thank you, y'all. So, um, um, just one second. We're gonna uh, we're gonna switch it up. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Turn around for me. Okay. Okay. Do a little spin. Yep. The audience wants to see a spin. Yeah, right. So we're just getting a pinch here. All right, Lee. Let me see okay. that caboose. You got that? I got that. Right. I, I got that. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alex. Okay. We are back, and uh, we have the next guest is getting mic'd up right now and coming up. So, um, just want to remind everyone that, if you can hear me all right, can you hear now? Remind everyone that, uh, that tomorrow we're, we're going to be antiquing and, and live streaming it here at the show. And we'll be walking all through High Top looking for treasures. And we're going to have a TV crew with us and um, a, a, a live stream crew. And it's going to be fun. And it's going to be live streamed on Ruby Lane. And uh, you in the audience here have heard this like f I mean, 15 times right now. But I'm excited about it, and um, I really can't wait. Come on up. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
Hi. Thank you so much. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm, I'm Lee. Good. I'm Lauren. Nice to I'm meet Lauren. you. I'm Lauren. Nice to meet Hi. you. Okay. So what do you, she's, uh, what do you she's have? really heavy. Oh, okay. Um, oh, okay. So I'm ready to That's right. Well, let's okay. see. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. We just want to leave that, her on oh, here? Oh, yeah. yeah. You know what? Um, could, will the camera come over here? Can yeah, that's make it probably over best. Can you bring okay, it over? Cool. She didn't okay. travel well. Oh, that's all right, Lauren. And maybe if you get uh, this yours as well. No, it's my mom's. Oh, this is too, yes. right? Oh, okay. That's right. Okay, I'll tell you what. We'll, come on over. Yeah, we can. That's, um, that's great. Okay. Well, then we can. Do you want to start with this off stage? Are you talk about it. I, what? What would you like to start with? Uh, this, I think. Yeah. This one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let me get it. Wait. Let me get it. Sorry, guys. All right. Two young bucks. Yeah. Right. Yeah, Two that, young you bucks. Right. You made that look easy. I'm doing a one-handed. We had a struggle. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's right. Thank you, thanks, Alex. Okay, so you yeah, uh, you went through a lot to get this here today, right? Well, yeah. yes, she didn't travel as well as we thought, uh -huh. but the story on her is she was outside in the garden of our home in Colorado Springs as a child. When we moved, I loved her so much and decided to take her with us. Um, the home was built in 1926, so we're not sure. We think she might be kind of old. And okay. Yeah. So you grew up with running around the garden with the. With yeah, the, come on up here just, a little bit. Yeah, next she, year. That, that's she just stayed, and we love her. That's that's very that's cool. That's all we know. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you remember since it, since you were a child, and the house was built in the twenties. You yep. said right. Mm -hmm. That may, I mean that. Do you, do you know who the the figure is? Have you have figured out who it is? I was hoping you could tell us. Okay. Okay. You know, we we earlier saw a little statue of the same goddess, but mm -hmm. it's like Wan Yin. Yep. This goddess who was very popular. Uh, for, for bringing all sorts of good blessings to, to the family, to everyone. And, and she's depicted in all kinds of forms. And here she's standing actually on a, on a, uh, a form of a lotus, a lotus plant. And um, guys here, a lotus plant. So, and usually she's holding all types of things. And this time she has a small, I think a vase. And what she have up here? Some kind of a, a scroll. The thing is when these figures are stone and, you know, and, Ming Dynasty or even early Qing Dynasty, you know, from the, let's say the late 1600s, anytime through the 19th century, in well carved, they are very, very valuable, you know. And this, what we have to look at with this is what the material is, you know. Yeah. Yeah, you probably guessed it. We, after she broke, we got a good hint. <laughs> so, is, it, what, is that what the tape is from? That's the tape. Yeah, you can yeah. see the rebar in the yeah, center. Yeah, and you did a good job. It kind of, it kind of cruised. <laughs> kind of killed the dream but she oh, still means a lot and no. I know we're like man this is it and it's I like know. on the way here and uh, yeah so sorry to disappoint but uh, don't be no, what if I told you this is a million dollars oh I, I doubt it but okay, I, well, I wish it wasn't broken it wasn't broken no that's the good news is that <laughs> I, won't, I, won't, I won't play with she you she didn't I, travel well no listen I mean you got a year she, yeah, we did. she has most of her all of her head in one piece right yeah <laughs> She's not upset with it. You'll still have good good luck. Will she still bring us blessings? Yeah, she will. Okay, she's gonna bring you good luck. I, I, can, All right, I can feel I the vibes. I can feel it. No, but seriously, this so this is concrete. It's yes. made of cement, and that's why it's was heavy. You know, and that's okay. You know, it's, sure. it, it brings back. You know, didn't you didn't yeah. pay twenty thousand for it? You, no. you know, you got it from. It has family history, family a family story to it, and. Um, it's Guan Yin and on a lotus uh, uh, bloss blossom, stylized, standing in, in kind of the, 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 the you know, in, in the Qing Dynasty style, you know. And so, and she could have been made here, I think, you know, you know, just as much as a swan could have, or mm -hmm. a nice sure. garden ornament, and probably from the 20s. Okay. I mean, you, you helped me with that date. Yep. I mean, that makes sense. So, and, and, and that's the good news is like if you smash if you really smashed a valuable one you'd be like oh you know and you could put it together and stuff but it would still take the value away but here i'll show you the back here it's still got the you guys don't want it to just break don't you so it's all on, on live stream <laughs> no, and you please. can say i was right there when he smashed we wouldn't have head. to take her home and make it our, I mean, our travels a lot <laughs> you, easier you wouldn't, <laughs> i'm kidding take her back in no, the wheelbarrow she's, she's great she's no great. she is great no, no she's, great. she's here, very here, sad here's the crack <laughs> But that was already cracked like that. I think. Yeah, there was yeah. cracked, and then yeah. So you didn't do that. You don't have to have any guilt or anything okay, like that. Just for the I'm, whole I'm head this morning. Okay. I'm playing play with you. You seem <laughs> nice, Tara. So let me uh, let me not have her back to you guys. Now, so value-wise, this is just decorative, and it has yeah. a great story. And you played in the garden with it, and 
But the other object now, what's, this is yours as well, right? It is. It's my, it's my mom's, so I'm going to let her choose if she wants to come up or not. Sure. She's probably got some major stage fright. Oh, great. Um, okay. But she's, only, she's saying no. So, she's, so sure? I can give Where's you the mom? spiel on that. She's mom? right there upstairs. Just filming yeah, right there. Right 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 come <laughs> on, please. No, she's, I think oh, she'd rather not. <laughs> oh, she's saying no. I can, like, I'm not going to get you. didn't have enough through. champagne. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You're not kidding. Yeah. So I can bring so carry I can this up. On this. Wanna, yeah. mm -hmm. Maybe with it, is that better, uh, Alex, for the camera? If we uh, bring it up there, all right. We can, well, I can. I can get her out of the way. Da, 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 da. You guys uh, let me just bring it back <laughs> here, and you guys, and then we'll okay. get that one up here. No, no, you know, just for, okay. Thank you. You know, we, you and I can pick it up, Alex. Yeah. Right here. Right. Okay. Get together. You get the other side. I just want to watch. This. Okay. Got it. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh, make it look so easy. The suspense. The drama. Okay. 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 First of all, I have to tell you that this is plastic. Yes. Okay, this, <laughs> <laughs> Home Depot the special. Home, Home Depot special. special. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> What'd you get it for? What'd you get it for? <laughs> Just for him. What, uh, you, you Just for him. Bought He's special. Custom ordered for yes, the custom for the angel. For Michael. I, I, I think you, you your family loves good blasting because they have Guan Yin and cement and then this piece this angel. And what's the story in this? Okay, so my mom was uh, on eBay, and I guess a professor had an estate of some angelic uh, church items, okay. and she bid on it, paid 1200 and uh, mm. that's all we really know about him. Okay. Um, we think that the suit is not original because there's not two holes on the backside. Oh, okay. um, this has been, this is a new screw, right. but these screws are actually old and we think that they're hand done. You can kind of see the difference. Absolutely. Um, but this one's probably a Home Depot special. Yeah, I'll and, show you guys um, what we're talking about in a minute. So let, yeah, let me, we can let me, wheel I, him around. I can He's do it. <laughs> Lauren, I've got it. If you stay <laughs> still, I'll tell you what. No, you stay right there. Okay. I won't knock you off. You can see our, okay, our nice uh, cord. <laughs> but the, the, so we have we have this, um, yeah, it's real, this is really cool what you're talking about because, let me get my, uh, anyway, oh, my flashlight's over there. Uh, uh, I just get it, get it. <laughs> Instead of being lazy. Okay, so we have this, we look, have this angel, and Lauren, you mentioned yep. mm -hmm. these nuts and, that, nuts and bolts, and that's a really cool thing that you mentioned that because I can look at that nut and bolt, know that clearly this one's replaced, right? Shiny, yeah. new, machine cut threads. For sure. This nut and bolt, are eight is 18th century. I mean that is 18th cool. century. That's hand cut thread with a hand cut nut, and literally I, I the, I've seen the machine that makes these. I, I used to collect catalogs of of, of uh, machines that make hardware. I know that sounds really crazy, right? No, really not nerdy. At all. It's I know. Beautiful. It does. But I used to collect those catalogs. So and, and also hardware catalogs from the 18th century, and that's an 18th late late 18th kind of early 19th century. Um, uh, bolt. They could have been reused an old bolt, but this it is no later. They kept making bolts like this into the early 19th century, but then they started making them totally differently. So anyway, that's a that's a and that's and also that tells me that it's European. You see the little notches on the side of the mm -hmm. nut. You guys can't see it out there. Sorry, but um, if uh, on Ruby Lane, if you can close in, you'll see that little notch. That's kind of a you see that in Spain, Italy, you know, things like that, it's, uh, places like that. And here you have these highly gilt wings with gesso that are, um, you know, that, that help to date it. I don't want to take his wing off because oh, that'll be bad luck on an angel. Yeah. But, but this is, this is a, oh, I see the whole bolt turns, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's great that those remain. I mean, I always say you can date a piece like, a, like on furniture, you can date from the hardware from this what puts it together the nails the screws the pins and this helps date this piece and i i think that the clothing effect is original oh. uh to the piece yeah i do uh, okay. I, uh you know you, you mentioned um the two holes is that was that you talking about these yeah so there's not a secondary hole in that ah so but, we I, thought maybe. but i think pardon me i think that i think there probably is uh, i I, I mean, trust I, their judgment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Better than ours. Only <laughs> because I think they just think those bolts are replaced on that side. They're original on this. The wings are original, and the, they just did another. There's a hole there in the fabric, so you can yeah. So anyway, that, cool. I think it's it's all cool, and um, it looks like it's one of those faces in a shop window in an old, um, you know, an old department store, right? You know, with the, with the clothes mannequins, a mannequin face, but 
um, the blue eyes, and so you, your mom got it, right? And you, you, how much did she pay for it? She paid twelve hundred, and was told it came out of an Italian church, okay. and that's really all the history we kind of knew on it. Okay, that, that is so cool. So, so the Italian thing makes sense with the little sure. bolts, and that is. We, did, we really didn't set this up, folks. <laughs> it sounds mm -hmm. like I'm going to be Mr. Smarty Pants. I no, guessed no. it right in the bolts. No, no. No, but, but seriously, that, that is cool but to hear that because and it makes sense for it, it, an Italian piece. I am not a, a clothing expert. But this, this is lovely. You know, this is silk. And this silk deteriorates. Do you guys know? If you have uh, even, even curtains that are in the sun, you know, yeah. for, you know, for 40 years, that are silk to deteriorate and uh, this braiding is all nice and um well i wish that were a real emblem there see that <laughs> like, that'd be great where's the jewelry specialist you know that that's that's a beautiful snow though you know wouldn't that be funny it's like yeah. your family fortunes right that's in a belly right button yep. so, <laughs> our family fortune found an angel's belly button yep, <laughs> yep there it is yeah i'm not gonna let's see mm. That's that's pretty nice green. I'm not gonna. I'm we not, don't know. Yeah, you don't know. <laughs> Protect that thing. Though. Sure, don't lose it. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm serious. You really ought to check that out. I, I, I'm, I'm only 50 percent uh, sure, but sure. that it has. It might be a, 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 a green stone that a garnet or something. But this is lovely gilding. It's lovely clothing. It's sculptured, and it's 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 a nice size. And, and, and originally there was something on top, as we can see from, you guys can't see some holes on the top. And that, but it's a, it, it's, it's, just a, it's a great story. It's nice that your mom found it, you know? And uh, your mom's out there still. Right, it's there you are. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, and um, did a good job. I think, you know, I think that the value, it's not, not going to be huge value because of the deterioration. But then again, you can't go out and find another one from at the very latest the early 19th century you know and at the earliest the very late 18th century but i think ni early 19th century looking at everything uh that's not deteriorated you know and um so i, 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 I value wise it's worth probably about what you paid you know okay. that's it you know and uh, you know it could be a little higher but i think sure. that's about it and um but it's really cool to see and um, I know it looks a little scary without the, without our headpiece, but I think, I'm, I, I, I'm trying to think what it would have been. Do you think it would have been? We think it may have been a helmet. Yeah, a helmet, um, yeah. There came a little wig, a little wig yep. that came with him. Yep. Um, but we, we think that's a little later. That makes sense, the helmet, yeah. because you have the Roman um, yeah. leggings. Uh, the yeah, the wig's creepy, so we just <laughs> leave them without. Yeah, the uh, oh, you had the, you have the wig home? We yeah. couldn't find it. It's like okay. a little short blonde wig. And okay, he's he, very upset. He looks better without it. <laughs> <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't agree. He's very <laughs> no, upset. He doesn't like it. I think he's really... More blessing uh, look at, no wig. <laughs> yeah, looking down and everything. Yeah. Not no, happy. so his head's normally not jank like this. Oh, like, there you go. Okay. Like, he's better. Like, he's been he like... doesn't travel well either. Like, <laughs> now he's smiling. I just forgot. He was not smiling. Okay. Wind it back, you'll see you're not smiling now. <laughs> so, oh gosh, this is great. I, oh, okay. I, okay, I just upped it three hundred dollars right there. Okay. <laughs> With the head back up oh, right. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Lauren, thank oh, you so much. It's fabulous. Thank you. Man, you're thank amazing. You. Oh, this is such kind. a treat and an honor. Yeah. Thank you so okay, much. Now we got the hard and we'll part. get these off. Okay? Yeah. Thank you for thank for you, helping. Lauren. Okay. We'll get these. Okay. Okay, and, and we're gonna get the next. I think if the mic could go on the next. Uh, the next. Uh, I'll get this. Yeah, I got okay. A hot mic. Don't worry get about this. <laughs> we're gonna leave um, Guan Yin here for a minute and take care of the next. We'll get this off okay. later. Okay. Don't worry about it. And um, we're gonna set up in a minute for the next. Um, the next uh, item. And the good thing is, I don't really know what's gonna show up next. I don't. I don't. I had some pictures of some things, but uh, we're just winging it. And we're here at Round Top doing an appra uh, an, uh, the appraisals, an appraisal day for such a great cause, such a great cause. And uh, hi there, hi. how are you? Great. I think we have uh, one of the owners here of this, uh, this place. May I, am I allowed to say that? <laughs> well, I guess you can. It's oh, true. You can. You can say your name again if you I'm don't mind. I'm Katie Stavanaugh. Katie Stavanaugh, nice to meet you. Good it's to see you. It's an honor. So you're part, you're, you uh, own part of this whole? I do, I yeah. do, and I've been involved with the Round Top Antique Show for several years, and we're delighted you're here. Thank you. And this has just been so much fun, right, y'all? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Katie. Thank you. That's, that's exciting. Uh, and what's the, what's the story with this? 
So first you have to know my husband. Okay. And we and, put it up um, on this barrel here. Here, there we go. Okay. He, he, he likes things that are heavy and unusual. Yeah, I'm gonna put it here and then move this barrel over. Okay. I just wanna, just wanna you can't, you haven't been to Texas if you haven't wrangled the barrel. <laughs> there you are. There. All right. So we were in Maine on vacation yep. about 15 years ago and we found a roadside flea market okay. and I'd taken our daughter to the car and he comes back and he said, I bought a lobster pot. Okay. And I said, okay. And he said, this woman said she had this lobster pot and he told, he said, she, he said, how much? And she said, 20 bucks. And he goes, well, every Texan needs a lobster pot, right? <laughs> so we take it back to the Airbnb and the guy said, yeah, that's not a lobster pot. Okay. But we brought it home, yeah. and we still have it, and we think it's a copper something. So I'm hoping you can tell me what it is. <laughs> you know, I did. I, <laughs> I'm. A, you know, I, 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 I. That's a really good question. We have a hole in the top. <laughs> there's nothing in the. There's no drain, right? No. No. You can't say it's a like um, a little guy's bathtub or something, you know, <laughs> right? Or, or gal. I mean. Uh, Lobster, you know, but it was bought in Maine, right? In Maine. We found it in Maine. Right near the coast. I mean, um, we were either in Damariscott or Wisconsin. Uh huh. Uh huh. I mean, I, you know, I think, you know, actually, if the viewers on Ruby Lane would like to opine, I, I really, honestly, don't know, don't know for sure. Sometimes we have those whatsits things, <laughs> but I do want to show you show one thing. And Katie, I'm going to turn it so the camera can see. Okay. But if you come around a little bit to the side you can see what i'm talking about this area here shows that it's well made you see these uh, almost dovetails right here uh-huh you guys see them out there they're kind of it's a line that comes up and it's like a dovetail in a in that side uh, uh, in a drawer that shows you how well this is made wrapped all the way around uh, and, and and each end is two pieces on it. it has the dovetails nicely constructed again probably early 20th century okay and we already know it's copper and believe it or not I have to tell you, that I'm allergic to, to metals, isn't that oh. funny? I, I'm allergic to money, like pennies and quarters, anything copper, so, except for silver and gold. And I'm, so I'm getting up, uh, yeah, I, I, no, 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 it's just like, so that's why I'm like, uh, just as I touch it, but I get a headache. Okay, okay. well, let me open no, it for no, you. No, no, oh, okay. not an emergency, I'm just explaining that okay. I got, <laughs> that I have Benadryl to. Benadryl, anybody? I uh, know, no, yeah, not Benadryl, I'd be falling asleep up here, but. Uh, at, uh, I just want to say it's lovely. I like the patina on it. See this color, and I'm just gonna, and I like the bottom of it. And it's really oxidized. It really, it really, it, it, and it, it looks like co beautiful copper. How long does it take for copper to get that really green color when it's outdoors? Probably 40, 50, 60 years. And this doesn't have it yet, but it hasn't. It's, it hasn't been outdoors that no, we much. No, we keep it inside. Yeah. But I, I think it, it's kind of one of those what's it's, but I don't think the lobster pie idea is such a terrible idea. Oh, I really? Just, I can see this fitting into something and being heated. Can you guys also, you know? So um, I don't think it's so crazy. The back, the bottom is kind of blackened. You see the, the, the black, the really dark dark? Uh -huh. it's, it has a blackened uh, bottom, which would be uh, kind of a, uh, something, you know, from fire, from, from fire. So we know it was heated up and, um, and that might have been a way to put the have the water go in, you know. So uh, I think lobster. I, who said it wasn't a lobster pot? The people at our Airbnb. He okay. said that well, they. That guy should get in a di different business. So. <laughs> <laughs> he said they had a place in their fireplace that this would sit down in and heat water, and the steam would come out the hole. For what a facial or something? <laughs> no, <laughs> no I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. He said he kept their um, phone books in it. That, that's a good idea. I mean, this is a great thing to keep things in. You're right. But it's not a phone book cooker, so <laughs> no, but I, I think no, seriously. I think it's a. I think I, I don't. I don't think. I think the guy. I think the lobster pot story is the best one to go with. But I am not the expert. I, I can't. It's a, it is a what's it still? Okay. Okay. So is but, it worth twenty dollars? It's definitely, definitely. It's worth more than that in copper. Oh. You know? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. That's I all mean, we care yeah, about. Yeah. Right? Let's hear it for the lobster <laughs> pot. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay. Thank you, though. Thank Katie, you. I'll, I'll get it off here. Thank you, okay. though, Katie. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you, guys. Just a minute. Uh, get this okay. off. Okay. I'll come get it. If, if you could have the, the runner ups faster, have them ready faster. Okay, so we're back. And um, so for the next appraisal, I just, yeah, that's uh, whatever you want to do. Yeah, come on. You want to come up? Yeah. We're going to set up the, uh, I'll get that. You got that. We're going to set up the table here 
and get a board back up. So that's look, look at that. We're back. All right. All right. We're back. All right. So, so for those of you watching, we have a, a, a number of things coming up, and there's a pretty cool thing coming up with with a, I think an interesting story. I've heard only a bit about it, and um, but I want to mention tomorrow if you're. If you're, if you tune in, please, to rubylane.com, and we're going to go antiquing with a camera crew, and we're going to find treasures. So please tune in, check it out, and um, it's going to be fun. Okay. I'm not even sure where we're going, but we're going to hit, we're going to find some sleepers. That's what I always call them, so, so thank you. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. How are you today? Good. You're? Ryland. Ryland. How nice. are you, Ryland? Fine, thanks. Hi, nice to, thank you for bringing these. Oh, well, thank you for looking at them. What's the story? Okay, so these boots uh, were born mm -hmm. in the um, late 70s, early 80s. Okay. And my father bought them for my mother on a trip to Santa Fe. Okay. They're Ralph Lauren. Uh, and you can see the hand stitching here. Right, right, right here. Yeah, I can see it. I'm showing mm -hmm. it right out here. So the Ralph Lauren from what what year? I'm going to say 1980. That's from the 80. Okay. Well, and you know, I tell you, my my, my son Brandon mm -hmm. uh, had had a look at this, and he's interested in, in men's workwear and all this, and, and really knows about boots. And and is Brandon around? Where, there, there's Brandon. Brandon, is he around? This wasn't set up. I thought you were getting a sandwich. How are you? Hi. Hi. Brian, how are you? Brian, my son so, I, so there's a mic. Yeah, I'm gonna put the mic on you. you yeah. I have to stand really close to you because you got that yeah, battery no, you pack. Don't to, you don't have to stand close at all now. I think it's all yours. Oh, there we go. go yeah. Really? Are you sure? Can you hear? Uh, let's let's tie it to the hip. No, that's all right. Doesn't matter where that is. Sure. Let's try. Just try that. Wait, wait. Can you guys say testing? Testing, testing. A little louder. Testing, testing. Is that good? That good? Yeah, Hello. Good. Can you hear me? Okay. Great. So you said, so when did you say you got these? these okay, so my mother passed away two years ago, and that's when I got them. Sorry. Um, but thank you. And uh, she never wore them. And we would, uh, there was this ongoing battle of can I borrow your boots? Can I borrow your boots? Can I borrow your boots? And she never would let me. And part of that is because they're autographed by Muhammad Ali. Wow. She met him in an airport and didn't have anything to get his autograph on. And so, um, so, they, so that's. Why? She, but she wasn't wearing them, right? No, so she, she had bought, she, she had them, them from the store and she just, she just got, she had them on her. And she decided to get them them signed. Is that exactly. What and that, uh, since the signature, she really didn't wear them. Interesting. Well, that's that's, that's really cool. Well, if we look inside, there's a there's a stamp on the inside here, mm -hmm. right? And there are a few numbers. One of them is a five. So that might have been her shoe size, a five, a five woman's boot. No, she was like an eight and a half or a nine. Maybe she didn't wear them because they didn't fit, you know. <laughs> <laughs> right. But the, an, another another uh, another it. number on that. Can, Can we show the that? Numbers. Can you see that on the inside? See it right there. Right there. Maybe you can close in. It's, it's, the, it's the purple ink on the inside. And that's the size, right? That's the okay, size, yeah. five, you know? Okay. Um, and also, there's a number 79, right? And you said that they were required in the early 80s or so? Yeah. So the 79 is probably the, the, the yeah, manufacturing date. Wow. Oh. Where's the, where's They're the almost 79 as old as I am. <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, that's right. very cool. Yeah, on the inside, 79. So. Um, and when you're looking at a pair of cowboy boots like this, there are a few things that you want to look at, one of which is the, the lemon pegs on the inside here, or rather on the bottom, mm -hmm. and the evidence of a, sh a steel shank, which mm -hmm. says that it's a, it's a good boot, it's got that support, you so know? where's the shank? Shank's right here. Oh. It's indicative uh, by this convex shape on the, I'm showing both of you guys, yeah, yeah, on, the, the uh, on the sole, on the, on the arch. And um, also, this bug stitch is also known as a, a medallion. And what this is used for, yeah. Okay. can you see? Yeah, you want to show the camera. Right. I also want to show you. Yeah, but you um, that's this part, right? Right, exactly, the medallion. Okay. And what that is, is that basically there's the this, this stitching here, mm -hmm. right? And um, it's secured by a, a rope, a cotton rope on the inside, and then canvas, and then another layer of uh, of leather, and what it's used for is basically it's so that your boots don't wrinkle. It's support on the top, right below the instep, so mm -hmm. that your boots don't wrinkle as you walk. Okay. That's that's, that's the cool. that's the function of them, you know. Um, but anyways, these are these are a great pair of boots. Um, and uh, right oh yeah, that's right. They're all around, of course. Mm -hmm. You know, and what's so cool is that you have these on top. You're the the pull tabs mm -hmm. says RL on them, right? Mm -hmm. But each one of them. Are, are just different because it's handmade, of course, you know, and that's a neat little thing, you know. Yeah. Um, and uh, so these boots probably bring 
around uh, 300 to $350. Okay. And for your um, Muhammad Ali fan who really likes bright red boots as woman size five, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> would probably uh, bring around uh, four to 500, 600 maybe, you know. Wow. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah, that's great. That's good. That's great. These are great. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks for bringing them in. Um, Brandon, t t didn't, didn't you spend some time in Texas here? Uh, oh, that's right. So um, I mean, the reason why I know about these boots is because I spent a summer in Texas a couple years ago, and my friend and mentor, Navina Christie, helped, um, helped me, uh, 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 basically taught me everything I know about cowboy boots. So, where in, t where in, in El Paso. Okay. And her, her, oh, wow. her, yeah, yeah, all cool. the way over there. It's called Rocket Buster Boots. She has a small little shop. It's mm -hmm. a really neat little, uh, neat little place. You got, you know? yeah, some people know. Uh, oh, some people know in the, the audience. audience yeah. She's Rocket amazing. Buster. She's amazing. Yeah. She's an old friend. Of, yeah, if I can say, she's an old friend of mine from New York, uh, from the from when I was in my thirties. Go-go days. The go-go right. days. Back in That's the go-go like, days. Like, Not the old man days. The go-go days. But then yeah. Brandon became. You, you're now good friends. I, I didn't mean to yeah. steal the mic away. I just no, wanted to say, Navita is a wonderful gal. And go ahead. So. Navina is amazing. She makes some great cowboy boots and El Paso rocket buster boots. But that's the point is that these are amazing pair of boots, and um, I want to say thanks for bringing them in. They're Thank they're, they're you. great. Yeah. Thank you. Um, one thing that's really really special. Thank you. Um, my mother grew up in Mississippi in the 1950s yep. and was a very ad, was um, an advocate for civil rights, and oh. so that's why Muhammad Ali was so important to her, oh. which you know was not super common in the 50s and that's Mississippi. cool yeah. that's yeah. really really yeah, cool yeah, yeah. wow so. especially from the time yeah, yeah. all right thank you thank you yeah thank you thanks man thanks Brandon thanks. yeah I gotta tell you that's uh, a star is born you gotta, gotta get the old man out and get my son up here right <laughs> yeah I think anyway thank you Brandon appreciate that um, so we have a lot of things coming up here a lot of things oh wow okay and we're miking up the next person I know, um, who's uh, Roman up next. So okay. I'm going to sing for you, A Star is Born Now, because I just said that. Oh, really? If I ever sang, I have the worst voice. Um, but I'd scare you guys away. So we, have a, we, have, we do have something coming up. It's porcelain. You can bring it up, Alex, if you want. Uh, is it porcelain? Just take that okay. Yeah. Yes. It's porcelain. Look at that. I grew up loving porcelain, China. Thank you, Alex. And the first time I'm seeing this, I can get a sneak peek before the owner comes up. Okay. Yeah. I'll, don't tell her it says made in China from the. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. This is a not lovely thing. It's not well. Yeah, that's okay. <laughs> oh, it I know. Yeah, I'm, I'm bad on the joke. Sorry. I, I, but I always look at the hardware. You know, I'm looking at this and the owner. Uh, no, there she is. I couldn't. I, I can't keep any secrets My anymore. My family said, don't fall, taking that out to round talk. No trip. <laughs> Thank How you. are you, Lee? Melinda Abel. N nice to meet you. Nice Melinda. to meet you. Thank you yes. for bringing the pieces. It's so Melinda. fun. This are you has been from here? Really enjoyable. Oh, I live in Houston. In yes. Houston, yeah. and you I drove love over? the antique show. It's oh, wonderful. Oh, thank you. Thank my you. My daughter came yesterday. She was wishing she was here today with me. Oh, to that's be here nice. To see all this. Do you always so, come to Round Top? I have for yeah, years for and years. years. My mother's ninety years old, still oh, wow. living, and she has been a collector always. Oh, so is she watching the her. show? Is she watching? I hope she is. If not, I'll take. I'll send some get, pictures. Yeah, that's that's great. Well, yeah. where, so where do these? Of course, goes in the bowl right there. So what's the story? This, um, our family um, yeah. just inherited a lot of, uh, a big collection of rose medallion, rose famille. So okay. we have loved it. Everybody loves it and has used it. And it, it came through my dad's side of the family and they actually um, imported these pieces. And oh, really? uh, went to China and sold them and had a business and they ate, we have a lot of plates because right. they used um, the collection and ate on the plates and a big service, a, a lot of pieces. So and they're all rose medallion, okay. Yes. So a rose they, famille and now oh. this is, you know, separate. I sure. just bought oh, this. Yeah, but this is great. I mean, we it, actually have two of these bowls oh, and oh. I have another one of these also. Wonderful. So um, so your family was actually in the shipping in business fact, in the yes, mid nineteenth century. Exactly. It'd be from eighteen fifty, right. late forties to eighteen sixty. Right. 
and they and she was from Philadelphia. Uh -huh. Mariah McCain was her name, McCain. and that's her name. she's a descendant from Thomas McCain, who signed that's, the Declaration of Independence. I was going to so say I heard that name. That's that's yeah. that's an old. Yeah. And that's, this, these were her pieces. So wow. my parents, who are both ninety and still living, they um, have had these pieces in their possession for sixty-eight wow. years. That, that is so cool. Years, so that is so fun. cool. Well, I, it, you, then the, you, I, and they uh, seem to be in good shape. They really are. Yeah, I mean, they, it's, yeah, know, good probably. color still, and just I mean, tell I, me I, a little bit about them. And I, I, I don't know whether well, my daughter's probably watching, saying, "Don't you sell these?" <laughs> uh, well, just, I, yeah, I, I want to show the bottom, uh -huh. the basin, the bottom of this um, this bowl. I'm looking at the back at the same time. Mm -hmm. So yeah, they're, they're, and they get they became called rose medallion, as you know, Melinda. Right. Uh, saying you know because because of the the roses the rose throughout. Color. Right. right, but they also had this, um, the, 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 this bowl is really mm -hmm. nice because all these, these panels with figures, and and um, let me hold it up actually, uh -huh. put it. and panels with figures, and also has the the um, let's see eight is more than eight auspicious symbols, but uh -huh. which to the Chinese brought good luck, like long life, long happiness, love, all these uh -huh. auspicious uh, emblems, and there's one, two, three, four, oh, five, six, that. seven, eight. There, there should be eight. Right in here, these chambers? Yeah, these, okay. yeah, there are eight. Okay. The eight Neat. auspicious symbols. And there's a, there's a Chinese name for that that oh, I, I that. can't okay. remember. But that is, yeah, so definitely brought mm -hmm. good luck. And, good luck. And, but to Americans who were importing this like mm -hmm. crazy, like in yes. your family yes. was, um, were, were merchants, they, they were making a fortune, you know. Bringing that in. Bringing right. that in and, 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 and working hard. Us, so, yeah. yeah. Right to Canton and mm -hmm. to you know, and this right. you know would have been made in place like that. So here on the back, you can see the rose mm -hmm. right here on the back, and here on the bottom, the typical typical Qing, Qing Dynasty export quality though. But you know, not, not made for the emperor, but but made for export. This mm -hmm. rounded uh, foot rim right here, it's rounded. Where in the Ming Dynasty, it was flat, oh, okay. and but it was rounded, uh, kind of rounded like I'll dome. See that. Yeah, and it's in great condition. And the little piece kind of shows through there. I guess yes. that's just from the earth. The that's clay. the body uh, showing through right mm -hmm. there. Not a that damage. That's from the kiln exactly. Yes. And they got fired red because of the, well, some of the iron oxide in the in the kiln mm -hmm. at this at, at, at like uh, 1400 degrees plus or yes. so. And this picture is really an unusually shaped, a special shape. I, I love it. Yeah, it really is nice with this narrow neck and, and you know. The detail. And, and yes, a nice step base, high base. And uh, so, and you can feel the mm -hmm. kiln grit, they call it, right here. Right, it's rough. right. the from, rough part, that means it's old and, yeah. From the kiln, yep, from absolutely. With, so this is really nice and it fit, it was perfect for the Victoria okay. Melinda because uh -huh. there was, uh, the, Evacuate, uh, which means fear of empty space. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> so they didn't want to leave an empty space. Yeah. You know, and so and it's also covered it. Design. Right. It's all covered yes. in and, and wonderful designs with butterflies as well, with and birds and mm -hmm. you know it's, it's it's something where it you seems keep. Seems to be very. There's a lot of it out here at Round Talk too. So the young a lot people of like it and mix it with the new things and seems yeah, to it, still be popular and collectible. It, exactly. You can put that in a minimal. Yes. and look really cool right. so that's really nice and, and and what about the basket is this called a tucker basket yep. uh, we have another one yep. and they both there's some wear right. and um, i know biobend has one okay um, in houston yeah and have you compared just, the two i have but yeah. my mother just had told me they had one and they the had family one. the same family you know had this basket also i think there's a good chance that this is probably tucker porcelain which mm -hmm. of course is a uh in new Jersey and um, and made in one of the great uh, porcelain factories okay. and one of the earliest I mean not the there were in New Jersey in New Jersey yeah and there were more others mm -hmm. in the 18th century a few but the, I love the the metal fixture in here I'm trying to get it we can get it in the light let me see if I can shine my light mm -hmm. on it here we can see that in the camera we can see this butter the butterfly knot mm -hmm. uh, on, on, on with hand hand cut threads right. which date from about 18 30, 1815 oh, really? to 1835, kind of in that range. Okay. This is the Empire. So it's a so it's a so it's a oh, neoclassical, okay. yeah, piece with the paw feet from uh, Greco-Roman, mm -hmm. you know, from architecture. They were doing uh, digs in Italy and all that, mm -hmm. and this reticulated base. I can use all these fancy words like reticulated, yes. 
You know, see that? Like you that. can see the through open. there? Yeah, the open work. Open. And uh, it's really amazing. Is it supposed to spin like that, or is that just because it's old? It and, is. And you no, it's supposed to spin. Absolutely supposed to spin. And that, and that absolutely, and that probably mm -hmm. kept her from getting damaged a couple of times because it hit on something and, yes. it, and it gave a little. Sure. Because think about all and these worn. these yeah. tips surviving all yeah. that time. Can I, you that yeah. Yeah. Job. I wouldn't want to sit on. I wouldn't want to sit on that. Right. But you, and and usually piercings. So anyway, and these are leaves here mm -hmm. on the base and it's just okay. you know I love that, that that's the you know so much yeah I know no, right. yeah you already knew you already knew well, the main a little thing bit, mainly just the tucker but I didn't know all about the, the wrong green. but I, I want to I do want to say pardon me that I love no. by Ben uh, oh, by it's ben. wonderful and yes. and I, 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 I've sold I, I honored to have mm -hmm. sold a few pieces to them oh, at least one uh, uh, Chippendale piece uh -huh. and it's a great museum it is it's, it's just wonderful. I'm a big Special. supporter and then you're probably it's a family. To have you here. Oh, it's thank great. you. I'm big excited. To say I excited do love the antique roadshow. Oh, thank you. Did for you and your brother start the antique roadshow? We didn't. I, okay. I don't know where that rumor well, got started, but thank say you. That. No, just say yes, no, yeah, no, <laughs> I definitely didn't. No, oh, no, I, I would, okay. I would. Uh, that was. Um, I'm just a, a volunteer yeah. appraiser on the okay. show, it's and uh, my brother is, and uh, we started 20 years ago now. Mm -hmm. 20. Over 20 believe it's like yeah. a quarter century oh, that's wonderful. it's like you know it's great since the first year when we didn't even know it would be popular Take off yeah. like that. It has. but, but thank it. you thank you very much thank and you. um great and and and, and do i you do have any idea of what the, should we just keep it in the family keep or? it in the family <laughs> oh yeah i, I know <laughs> you will i mean this tells such a great story about yes. your family and the shipping business and bringing things from china there was such right. a huge in China trade, mm -hmm. and they yeah. lived in Philadelphia, so that was that's, a port. That's where, where most they of entered. Where, yeah, know, and then, and, uh, then they family. later went to Colorado Springs and uh, the, lived in the broad. Colorado the Springs. family, the did, family did. And, and Their home still is still there. And brought, mm -hmm. oh, really, and all these pieces were out of that home. That is so cool. Yes. That's so. Uh, that, that's 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 if this that's if this special. kitchen bowl could speak, you know. Yes. You know, it's, you. Uh, and it would survive. Your family definitely takes care of things well because. Well, I don't some, think it was, some pieces are chipped and cracked. Well, on it, you know the plates I, and that sort of thing. It's like I'm I'm but, I'm, I'm but, chipped and cracked a but, lot. Yeah, and I'm a we lot. All, younger, so. <laughs> <laughs> so, we all are. <laughs> right. But I'm taking care of these. So you sure are. No. Get them home safely. Well, thank you. Well, thank you. Uh, well, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. The value. I mean, it's uh, I, you know value again. That you know. Yeah, you know, yeah. I mean, I, no, I I know the value, but I just don't think it's. I know sure. people at home probably want to hear. Um, I had some plants in there. Oh, that's nice. No, well. that's all right. That doesn't matter. That makes it more authentic. Willows yeah. or whatever. No, I had in there. it's yeah. beautiful. Re, uh, yeah, I've seen handle. some other pictures too. Yeah, maybe some are right. decorated differently and that kind of thing. So, what price range did, have you seen some these priced at? Uh, porcelain. Uh, someone from BioBend that does um, porcelain kind of, she mentioned eight to 10,000 for mm -hmm. the pieces, both uh -huh. of them. Uh -huh. For the so. two. Mm -hmm. I think it's sure. It's it, old and it's in good condition. Yep. That, it, absolutely, that, insurance value. Color, insurance value. Insurance value, value. Right. yeah, right. because I mean, you know. She just that, kind of verbally, she said Well, that. that's just, such, it's just an unusual form, mm -hmm. they say. And, yes, and, it, and, pardon me, and this, yeah. the Tucker, uh, this piece, yeah. I, I would love to compare it to the one at, at by mm -hmm. because, we'll and, and I'm going to do it right after this, uh, this um, appraisal. I'm not told me that, so she well, knows the one yeah, over there. Pardon me. It, it, yeah, it's simple, it's just like the tucker is, right. and, and it's articulated. I've seen a piece with the same, mm -hmm. I think Design. that one there actually has points on it, but, mm -hmm. um, and it's, it's, it is typical Even tucker. Even worn, yeah. Yeah, so worn is, wear is good. I mean, wear good. shows it's the either. age. Right, you don't want right. it, you don't, you don't want it new. So, right. and, and they use water gilding and uh, oil, both two okay. types of gilding. See the, the contrast, just uh -huh. like they do in a frame, the shiny and the that. dull. And that's, that was uh, an important okay. part of the, the, the way the light oh, played on it. Mm -hmm. You guys see out there how it's I flat that. and shiny? And that it's shiny that's, here. That's just okay. two types of gilding on mm -hmm. the same piece. Frames are, do it a lot. Yes. Really great. And, uh, but this could be worth that. If this really is a Tucker piece, this could mm -hmm. be um, in the thousands, okay. you know, because they, they Tucker rarely mm -hmm. turns up. And they're, it's usually in the form of a pitcher, mm -hmm. you know, not a, a compote. Not a compote. A fruit, like this that, we call right. the fruit basket yes. during the period, yes. you know, during the 1830s. 
But thank you. Thank great. you so thank much. You. You're great. We thank know you. So much thank more. you. Thanks oh, so thank much. you Lee. so much. Thank you, Melinda. Great to know you. And we're going to yeah. carefully get these okay. out. Okay. And, um, as long as I don't trip. Okay. Well, you nice won't. Helpers. No. We'll, I appreciate we'll get your it. mic over there. Thank you. Excuse me. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I'm just going to keep going right out the okay. door with this. She won't notice. Oh, no, no. I'm, I think she'll catch me. So I'll give you that. And next up. Okay. Um, hey. Oh, oh, thanks so much. Thank you, Melinda. Sorry you had to carry that off yourself. Okay, and just re uh, you're welcome. Thank you, and and thank you all, all all of you who are here in person, and all of you at Ruby Lane. Thank you for watching, and all uh, part of the proceeds uh, go to for this event and the one tomorrow where we go treasure hunting here at Round Top. Go to towards Camp for All for uh, uh, special uh, special needs children, it, 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 an amazing cause. And um, it's just an honor, again, to be to be here, to do this event and have some of the proceeds go, a good part of the proceeds the go business. towards that camp for all. And uh, as we sit here, I see a clock coming up and, the, and it's ticking away. Hi yeah, there, how are you? I I'm can take good. that right from you. Sure, it's Thank heavy. you, how are you? I'm good, thank Come you. on up, let me catch that. Thank you. Don't you look lovely? Well, thank you. Look lovely. That's a great. Where did you find the, that outfit? It's, it's so wonderful. Looks well, hand embroidered. Yes. One of my fun fun things to do is to have John, what Johnny was going on here. Oh, that that's great. Uh, is your mic? Let me see if your mic's going. Can you guys can you guys hear all right? I'll, I'll get it for you. Oh, that's right. I'll get that. You stay right there. Okay. Oh. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Testing. Testing one, two. Okay, that's working. How about this? We'll try to get that pop down there. Let's see. Maybe Just one sec. <laughs> Just like the, um, yeah, you got to get, I think on, on here. Okay, try that. How's that? Can you hear me? My, uh, you my name's Lee. Hi, I'm Rana. Rana, thank you for coming. Nice thank to meet you. you. Come on, come a little closer. Okay. Thank you. This is what a little This piece. goes part. He's, he Rana, okay. Oh, oh, up front, right? Oh, yes. is that somebody's spear? Somebody? It's a, yes, it's a sword. And oh, the sword. Uh, that's great. Oh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It, yeah, that just, uh, it, what the, and, and that's just uh, the little metal goes right there. Yeah, a sword. Yes, sir. Yeah, you can see so, where it goes. So, Rana, tell me about the, what you know about the piece, this clock. Well, I uh, was on a road trip with right. my friends, right. and we um, were in an estate sale in Marfa, Texas. Right. And we went to this small little house. It was very simple little house, and I walk in, and they had a little side piano, and that was sitting on top of it. Okay. And I immediately was drawn to it and loved it, so... I purchased it for, she asked 200 for it, and I purchased it for three. Okay. And I felt like that was even probably a little bit of an amount. Now, there's some issues with this. Cl this sure, um, okay. I mean, it has, the clock needs, I know the clock needs to be repaired. Right. There's some, a few little uh, yeah. imperfections here and here, okay. and I think a few of his, the feet are missing. Okay, that's all right, okay. I mean, I mean again, uh, you, nothing survives its, uh, Perfect. Right. I have done Very nothing thrilling. to this. I yeah. mean, I, I hook it straight from there, put it in a box, yeah. and um, quite a lot going on there, right? What do we have going on? We have a, a, some beasts down here, and some. It's the, the Saint Michael slaying the devil. Yes, of course. Here's the devil. Mm -hmm. that, it, 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 that that's that is a. It's a very popular in the 19th century. It was a very popular um, uh, theme in mm -hmm. the 18th century too, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And when do you think this clock dates from? I would say in the uh, late 1800s, maybe. Yep, yep. I think you're you're definitely right on. You know, right there. Mm -hmm. Good for you. Yeah, I have that. And with the this that we have these. Um, I use this to point at it with these um, uh, enamel dial, right? Mm -hmm. With those mm -hmm. the Roman numerals. And uh, and uh, what do you think this is made of? You, I would think bronze, but I'm not sure. Uh -huh. And that. And that's a lot of some of them were bronze and made in France. You know, uh, as bronze, but. And the reason that that probably one of the reasons that snapped off, and there's nothing wrong with this for the price you paid, mm -hmm. is that it's, it's got, they used to call it pop metal, mm -hmm. but it's more of a, a, a amalgam of several metals, a more inexpensive, you know, metals, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why you paid how much? Three hundred. Three hundred for, uh, for, a, a late nineteenth century clock, you know, with the Renaissance revival, with all these, um, these the the, the plinth 
and the uh, all the elements of of kind of the Renaissance with the, the this neo Neo Greco-Roman figure of you know mm -hmm. uh, depiction of Saint Michael, the winged Saint Michael, uh, and so it's very cool. But it is it is bell metal. I guess they also called it pop metal. And um, there's another word that I'm not. It's, it's escaping me. But that, but anyway, it's it's not bronze. And the way the way you can tell if I uh, if I may run if I can su suggest is you look at the bottom uh -huh. where it's where it's um, where the pieces right down here you mm -hmm. see there is a little green you know, mm -hmm. which make you think it's bronze but that's actually it's right here and here and especially where this piece broke off right. i can see it's just it's a it's 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 a, a metal that was actually quite brittle so that but they used it when they could paint it like this it looked like a black and bronze and expensive you know what i mean and mm -hmm. and it has that look it's but it's real it's authentic it's probably worth about what you paid three hundred dollars or mm -hmm. so three maybe more Four hundred. I wish I could tell you it was mm -hmm. five thousand, but it's not. <laughs> okay. But it's very nice. It's very nice. Okay. It's very nice in the clock. I'm l looking inside. I, I, you know, it looks like you might, you might even get it working, but it's hard to, hard to know. I'm not, uh, 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 you know, a clock specialist. Look in the back. It's hard to, hard to. Yeah, it look, looks all original in there, though. I'll tell you that. You know, and I can see the. Um, oh, oh, okay. So at least we know where it was made. It was made in uh, Paris. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm, I, I, good thing I brought this bright light, and it's uh, oops, put these glasses on. These are handy glasses, and um, it's it's uh, H L Lewins of Paris, L L U H E N S. So yeah, so so again, this would have been probably sold to tourists or something, you know, who would want a nice object to say I bought it in Paris, mm -hmm. and it wasn't mm -hmm. a fortune. Okay. But it does have some brass, and that's on the on the back, and the mm -hmm. glass here. See that, that's that's brass yes. right there. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh huh. Yes. Well, thank you so much for bringing it in, and and I love your jewelry also. That's well, gorgeous. You. Really, really. It's May I put a light on that? Can I, look at that. It's gorgeous. You can go ahead. <laughs> oh Show my God. husband. He'd be real happy about this. Oh yeah, yeah. It's really nice. That is nice. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Lovely. Oh, lovely. Well, thank okay. you so much. Thank I you so much. That. I can carry that. Uh, uh, let me hand it well, to I'll uh, step, step down and take it. Oh, okay. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Thank you so, Thank much. You so much, Ron. You have a great day. You have a great day. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. And we, we have the next, the next object coming up uh -huh. soon. I, actually, you can hand me it. Um, thank you so much. I'll see you in a second. Um, here's the next thing. And, you know, you, you guys have all seen Batwood chairs, and this is a good example of a Batwood chair. And in, in Paris, a guy named Thonet, T-H-O-N-E-T, -E came up with a way to bend the wood um, so that it's a continuous S-curve. He, he could do all kinds of things. He made rocking chairs, everything, out of that one. So, um, and there's the owner. You were talking about it, and I didn't I know, even hear it. I know. <laughs> I wanted to give him some info. I, I'm, uh, I'm Linda. Linda, nice to meet so you. So nice to meet nice you. Nice so thank I'm you. a huge fan thank of you. you and your brother. Thank you. And Come I on loved up. your um, the show that y'all did. Oh, uh, that, Buried Treasure. Yes, that was you. one of my favorites. Thank you so, so much. Stan yeah. Fox. Uh, now, thank you so much. That yeah. was fun. That uh, fun because we were going into people's homes and changing their <laughs> lives. You know, <laughs> trying to anyway. I you know, know you did. You know, thank you so much. Can you guys still hear me? Okay, thank you. So, what do you, so? So, um, I, I I live in Round Top, which is I'm I'm very fortunate. But my yeah. for a brief period, my family lived in Rhode Island. We okay. lived in Providence. Yeah. And my mom uh, was interested in antiques, but very. Very, she went to antique shops, yes. but they were p very, you know, humble or right. whatever. And maybe she paid five dollars for this, okay. I think. But right. uh, and it probably was painted green, yep. and she, cl you know, cleaned it up or whatever. And it has been, the seating has been redone. But okay. anyway, she, nice. I, yeah. so she bought it probably in the sixty-five, sixty-six, something like that. Okay, and she paid so, thirty. You said thirty. Uh, how much? Five dollars. Just five dollars. <laughs> she should be. She wouldn't, didn't feel guilty. Uh, uh, for no, only five dollars. Well, no, I mean, yeah. I'm kidding. No, uh, that, that 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 that's not, that's a good price. Did she did clean the paint off? Do you know? Or? You know, I think she started, and she may have uh, finally given in and got a professional right, involved. Right, right. No, that, that she, they did a good job. Yeah. You know, I mean, pretty good job. So, so. It, 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 it might it probably started out I'm guessing stained you know uh -huh. uh, because this made like a Windsor chair of different kinds of wood mm -hmm. 
and um, oh, and, 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 the, and the stain or the wash would have would have be, uh, combined them all. That's what I think. Now let me see. Maybe I'm wrong. This is actually uh, a, a, a beach beechwood, okay. and um, um, that looks like beech. Yeah, yeah. And they would have been able, able to bend this wood right here. Okay. Yeah. Look at that beautiful S curve. Yeah, right it's isn't, that, isn't that nice? Yes. I mean. And rather inexpensively, in the in the late 19th century, kind of around 1900, mm -hmm. 1880 to 1900, a little kind of Chippendale-style crest. Because, so at this point there, actually it had a great shape in the back. If you guys look in the back, you can see that it has this very kind of a waist, mm -hmm. and that goes back out. You all can see it in the audience. So it's really very cool. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean. And the great thing is that it's your mom's, yes. and is she still with us, your mom? No, unfortunately Oops. she's not, but oh, sorry. Um, she uh, started um, my sister and I's love for antiques. Oh, that is so, so great. So we would be in the car, and we, we'd go with her in these musty antique stores. And, <laughs> and anyway. go, oh, mom, what are we doing here? <laughs> right. Did you, uh, you, did you, when, when did you get excited about going? Uh, to oh, you know, after... You know, as an adult, probably okay, as right. a young adult. Oh, that, so. that's so cool and, that you. And I've been an adult for a while. You have oh, a couple yeah. years, okay, <laughs> <laughs> right? No, but so that, I'm sure you have a lot of things home. You you said I'll bring a chair, right? right. And 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 because oh. it was from New England, I thought that you might be able to relate to it. Yeah, no, that, that's very sweet. That's very kind of you. I I um I was just up in up up in Rhode Island, and, mm -hmm. and I do think it was probably made somewhere up there. Although they made chairs like this inexpensively right. in in France. But they were usually, they're usually even more ornate, but ornate, like people like Thonet mm -hmm. made these bentwood chairs. Right. Because this is truly a bentwood chair, that, that brace. Okay. And ca cane seat, which again, you said it was replaced, but. That's redone. In my town that we, anyway, there was a place that we, they, they charged 10 cents a hole to redo the cane oh, wow. seat. And uh, my mom used to have them recaned by the, uh -huh. these, uh, these uh, blind people. And that, it was a way oh, for them to make money. That's exactly where I had it done. I it's had it done in Houston, in Houston for the blind. For the blind. And they and redid it. Yes, that is so yes, cool. Yes. That, I remember that <laughs> as being, a, being a kid my mom yeah, going yeah, up yeah. in upstate New York. Uh -huh. a, a different. How, that's great. Okay, it's that's something, exactly where I had it done. It's, uh, that is so cool. Uh -huh. I, uh, that, well, um, if your mom's watching, you yeah, did, did a good job. Watching. You know, <laughs> did a good job. Uh, you know, and thank you. I mean, value-wise, it's going to be... It's going to be definitely more than five dollars. Okay, good. You know, definitely. Yeah, you know, like like fifty to eighty dollars. Right. Yeah. Okay. You know, well, that she, means a lot to me. Yeah. So thank, anyway. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. I keep shaking your hand, but thank you. That's okay. okay. <laughs> thank you so thanks much. Thanks a lot. Thank you. <laughs> thank you okay. very much. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, that that was fun. I always like to see a piece of furniture. So, um, so I tell you. So we have we have an interesting thing coming up. Thing coming up. On, I say thing. A work of art. And. Um, and it's actually, actually, I saw some images of it, and um, it looked like it was definitely had some age. But I don't want to say any more until the owner comes up, who, who has been helping here, and uh, actually, uh, may I say where you work, Alex? Please. <laughs> yeah. All right. He's actually a major guy at Ruby Lane. You know. <laughs> so. Hi so, everyone. How are you? <laughs> Who's that? This good All the way from New York. Year. Yeah, right? <laughs> How you doing, Alex? I'm well, I'm well, Lee. You've been working. Texas definitely. weather has been treating me oh so well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you've, been, you've been working working hard here. So, uh, so what's, this, what's the story? Okay. So I think I brought you something interesting. It's going to be either incredibly disappointing or I'm going to have to travel home with a uh, iron suitcase chained to my <laughs> wrist. So it's going to be one of the two. Yeah. Um, so what happened here is my grandmother was a collector of art. She traveled the world, um, just buying things wherever she could, whenever she could. This came out of her estate. Mm -hmm. Now, the interesting thing here is that this is where it left off. She was great friends with uh, Sidney Friedberg. Okay. He was the main authority on early Renaissance art and a professor at Harvard University. And he was convinced himself that this was a Florentine school drawing. Right. Um, possibly by, I'm going to butcher this, because my early Renaissance and Florentine school artists, uh, we barely touched that right. at school. Right. <laughs> All right. So it's Domenico 
Ghirlandario, uh, something to that effect. I, I, Again, I'm going to butcher that one. Ghirlandario, I, I, I butchered also, but I know uh, that not the, uh, the guy who's um, Michelangelo's teacher. He was, was Michelangelo. Michelangelo's teacher. I, I, I yeah. Think, how long have you been? Uh, so uh, we've, my grandmother had this piece. She's known about that background story after, again, a, a dinner party with um, Sidney Friedman. Uh, Friedberg, sorry. Friedberg, right. That's a, sadly, famous, that's a huge name. That sadly, Sydney passed away before any sort of formal investigation could be commenced. And then right after he passed away, my grandmother suffered some mental issues that, uh, well, her estate was left in other hands. Okay. Yeah. So, so what happened here is, you know, it, it shot up about a year ago. Right. My right. father had it. He's like, oh my God, this thing. Right. And, um, and now that he's moving, he's like, it came out of the attic again. He's like, oh my God, I completely forgot about this thing. Wow. Bring it to Lee. Uh, wow. Thank you. Wow. I'm glad you brought it to me. I you couldn't know? think of a better and person. Like, yeah. No, thanks. That, that is very sweet. And now, let me ask you, who, your grandmother's name is? Uh, um, Rose Gardner. Rose Gardner. Rose Gardner. Yeah. Because I know that the, the I know I know your last name's Gardner. And yeah. I, how are you related to the Isabel Stewart Gardner of the? So the a little museum. family history, I guess. <laughs> if we're yeah. going to dive into that one, uh, my great great aunt is Isabel Stewart Gardner that one. Yeah, of that the one. Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum in yeah. Boston. Yeah. Uh, if. <laughs> For some of those that don't know, world's largest art heist. Yep, the that's Rembrandt. what it's known for. The, they never found the Rembrandts that were stolen from yeah. it, right? Isn't yeah. that right? I mean, exactly. That, that, yeah, that, and that. so she traveled in these circles in Boston, and um, I don't know what we have here, Lee. Uh, well, I'll tell you, you have something really good, I, and I wish I had. I mean, you gave me some warning. I saw a picture of it, but yeah. uh, it was right before I was headed out here, you, mm -hmm. as you know. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I mean, and Sidney Friedberg is. Like I, I, I remember in college reading, watching movies, films that he, he did about uh, Renaissance art, you know, mm -hmm. Italian artists specifically. Yes. And but I mean, the, uh, honestly, the, I, I'd love to see the back of this, and I don't know if we have time or we could do that um, here. If you feel comfortable opening I mean, it up, you know, it's, I, mean, it's in, I, I mean, can't imagine better hands. Oh, uh, right? well, thank you. I mean, <laughs> I, you know, that's very kind of you to say, but you know, now watch me butcher this uh, <laughs> well, on uh, live stream. But I mean, so. Did, you Maybe told me if you, you want to point it to the you, camera just yeah, to give well, them a little yeah, uh, introspective. Yeah, while you, were, while you were talking, I was pointing yeah. it. I, okay. You've gotten a good look at it, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, know. my anxiety is just kind of going... <laughs> 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 hey, we're going to take it out of the frame. Yeah, 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 I, no. I don't think this thing has uh, seen uh, uh, the light of day for yeah. a few decades. Well, they did a good job uh, framing it, uh, though. So I'm going to lay it, you know, I think mm -hmm. just because it look, it's nice and safe and it's... Let's see, do you mind helping me uh, sure. maybe pull some of these I got up? those nimble got, little fingers. Yeah, you, no, you got to get a hand. Well, you, you, you do have fingernails. I can't yeah. get this up. So we're, we're taking a, this, what looks like a, a 16th century um, drawing uh, uh, sketch. Oh, out of, out actually, by your feet, Lee, the part of the provenance oh, is that there. there um, Oh, is this there? It actually yeah. has Sidney Freeman's name on it. Oh, yeah. This that, is yeah. Uh, uh, was part Sid of the original backing of the piece. Yeah, this is really. And uh, before yeah. he yeah. could so, finalize any appraisal or authenticity of it. So this um, is, yep, it says brought, brought, in, bought, brought in New York by S. Friedberg. Again, that's, that's iconic, just the fact that, so brought in New York. What is that? Did, did she mean to say bought in New York? No? Oh, no, that's brought by S. Friedberg. Yeah, so, that, so, honestly, I don't know what the context is there, okay. because this is, like, before my time. I think uh, I wasn't even born yet. Yeah, you're a young guy. You're yeah. What, 30, 32? <laughs> uh, you 30, know what? 31, 30? You never uh, ask a, a man's <laughs> age, right, Lee? Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> Just don't ask my age. Okay, yeah. But um, well, no, this is this is this is pretty amazing, though. I mean, it's it's. It, I mean, it's definitely on the, the right paper. I mean, and I am not a, a Renaissance expert. I, I, I. But I'll tell you one thing. Okay. I mean, one thing that's interesting to me is that uh, is, is this this ball that he has in his hand with the. Um, he's actually. It's hard for you to see out in the audience there, but uh, those of you at, at home, you can see that he's holding. Um, this this sphere with a uh, rod at the top of it, and um, 
And what's the, is, have you looked at the writing down here? Do you, you see that? There's stuff? an imprint. There's a couple things on okay, this thing uh, that I just, for the life of me, won't be able to figure out. Okay, do you um, mind, do you mind if I use this? There's some stamps on the back. There's some okay. writing that's been kind of worn out. And I'm going to try to, oh, my light's not, my, I thought my light would work, but my light's not working. It, uh, let me see it never does when you need it yeah, to, right? Right, Lee. right, exactly. I'll tell, you, <laughs> I'll tell you what I do have, though, is um, be I think my, my light, like the great ooh, time cue energizer bunny. <laughs> you know, <add. laughs> yeah, right. Let's see. Okay, yeah, it does have an initials there. Uh, like, what? What is that? Uh, F? Is it? Uh, do you want to look at it? Have you looked at the? Uh, um, all right. So it's so faded. It, yeah. it looks like F C S. F C S. F yes. dot. F C S. C right. dot. I, S. I have something to do with lightning. I'm just thinking that that this ball with the rod on it has to do with with, with something to do with uh, lightning or something because there's a there. Lightning ball. There's something FCS. There's a, a Latin terminology. I think FCS is the acronym for it, and it has to do with lightning. It does really? Yeah. Something. No. You are triggering something there. Wow. Um, no, really. But okay. I wouldn't be able to expand on that any further. I mean, so the only thing that, the only thing that I, I I wonder about the, 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 because the thing look it looks like an amazing sketch down here and the way it's done, but it looks like. Perhaps a student worked on this, the Don't hair, you, like a real, it's a real, this, this looks amazing. And then you get up here and this, this hair is kind of like, is, um, you know, not, not as, not as you know, well done, but this is beautifully done. So uh, maybe this, I mean, you have an original thing. Look, I'm mm -hmm. just talking from just uh, 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 the seat of my yeah. pants, but I think it's definitely a real thing. I yeah. mean, and the, f the fact that it came from your family, means that it could have been Isabel Stewart Gardner's, right? Would it have possibly come from her? I, I would I would be hesitant to make any kind of but I don't want to make any statements. Yeah, but I mean I don't it, nothing's out, out of the realm of possibility. Okay. Because but that's your but she yeah. was your great 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 she, yeah, great 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 aunt. Uh, but that's yeah. that's that's like but who else would have something that yeah, my Michelangelo's uh, <laughs> teacher. Right? Well, Michelangelo was the apprentice. You know, I mean, other than uh, Isabel Stewart Gardner, I mean, yeah. uh, some people might, but that's 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 pretty amazing. Uh, that that, that I, I happen to love that museum, the Isabel Stewart. It's Gardner. a fantastic museum. museum. It's where my parents fell in love. Really? Yeah, yeah. At, the, that, the at museum. that museum. Yeah. That was your 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 my, mom met your dad. My at mom the, met my dad. She was a French woman without a visa, and my dad fell in love with her after about two yeah, weeks. So asked her to marry. Uh, asked her asked her to marry him. Wow. Uh, just for the visa, and said if it doesn't work out, don't worry, you get to stay. You're but uh, they've really? been together ever since. Yeah. yeah. Wow, that's so cool. I mean, do you think any it had to do anything with the fact that she said, "What do you do?" And he, he said, <laughs> "Well, my aunt, my uh, aunt uh, <laughs> uh, built this place." Uh, I don't know. I, I think a couple you know? family members were suspecting that, but yeah, 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 right. <laughs> no. I mean, I don't. I don't think true love. Uh, no. Yeah, yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah, no, I sure know. That, 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 that's so. That's a great story. Uh, Alex, I got to tell you, I, I I think this is one that that we I. I, we have to spend time in, and there there are a million ways. And I know, like I know, uh, uh, so Ian Kennedy is one of the great um, okay experts. He's now at a major museum, but he, I worked with him at Christie's. Okay, and he I think he would know exactly who I think he's at the Getty now or one of those great places. But he would he would know. You know, I, 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 one thing I know is what I don't know, mm. and I'm not an expert in this in this area. But I do know that the paper looks right. Everything about the hands look right. Okay. And, I mean, regardless of the fact that one of the great experts, uh, uh, it, lo it looks like it was brought. Sidney Friedberg. Yes. And I mean, Friedberg, no, I'm saying that oh. whether it was bought or brought to him or by him, Sidney Friedberg's one of the greats. I yeah. Mean, he really, he said that name and I said, you know, uh, uh, he's famous and he's, anyway, and, and, and uh, you might have a real treasure here. I mean, it could be, you know, of course, it could range from oh, I you certainly know, hope so. What yeah, twenty thousand to, to hundreds of thousands of dollars. What, is, so, what, drawings, is, what does one of his drawings kind of go his for? His drawings are brought, you know, uh, in the hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands? Uh, yeah, for the good drawings, yeah. The, he did a drawing that was, do you guys know uh, Rosie the Riveter? You know, Rosie the Riveter, it's a famous rock, Norman Rockwell. Believe it or not, Rosie, the, and it was used to, to for war bonds, right? Yeah. And the, um, during, the, during the war and in the 40s, and to raise money. Uh, that 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 her posture was based on uh, mm -hmm. a drawing by this guy, by him, 
you know? Wow. And, um, I mean, the, the whole pose. Norman Rockwell used his, uh, a pastor, one of his uh, disciples. Or the, anyway, it was the uh, same, uh, but Rosie the River has a, has a uh, <laughs> ribbing gun and, you know, the yeah, yeah. box box. No, the front is on a copy of Mein Kampf, <laughs> you know, all beat up. It's like, but it's one of the great Rockwells. It's yeah, 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 Rockwells yeah. And, and that is based on the, this guy's it's work. based off this guy's work, okay. But, but Alex, thank you. I mean, you might have a real gem. I mean, this, yeah. this talk about, and turning up a, a round top, it's, uh, I mean, I know that, uh, you're, you know, you do an amazing job for Ruby Lane, and, oh, and, and it's kind. not like you walked <laughs> off the street, but you did say, Lee, I want to bring this drawing. I'm coming out to work. I just don't know enough and about it. Yeah, I, well, you, know, you, might, you, might, you, I, might, <laughs> you might have to quit your job at Ruby Lane. You'll make so many millions that uh, <laughs> off Sorry, one Ruby Lane, you're going to lose Alex. <laughs> no, 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 we're a family over there, yeah, so uh, could never quit. Just kidding. Don't lose him. No, uh, no, seriously. Yeah, thank you. Man. I just like the idea of seeing or thinking about the like somebody telling Michelangelo what to do. Yeah. And in the old Florentine way yeah. of, you know, maybe a stick or something if, yeah. <laughs> if yeah. A, yeah. a stroke of ink is out of place. That's so cool. I love yeah. the hand and how beautifully it's drawn. You know, it's yeah. my master, you guys. There's also yeah. some writing on the back. Oh I don't know gosh. if you've seen this. Wow. Um, but it's incredibly faded. Okay. So, wow. If we, we, we do if, this really carefully, if you just let it flap, if we just you, let you it flap, it. you don't even have to. It, touch it. it has wow. some writing on the back. Wow! But it might be difficult to see. Difficult you might to need see. to. Well, this, well, this, this. Get your inspector gadget tools. You know. Yeah, exactly. This. See, it looks like there's a. Let me see. The watermark. It has stamps all over the back. Yeah, I can see that. And so it has a crown here. There's a crown, actually, literally uh, in ink. Which I mean, that might be an imperial seal. I mean, that's 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 a definite crown. It's like a not a rubber stamp, but a you know, mm -hmm. it's a seal. And and then in, oh my God, there's writing all along here, right? And uh, then towards along, the oh, middle, oh, you'll right. see you'll see some writing, yeah. incredibly faded. So that has but to be. I'm sure some kind of you know infrared light. Yeah, infrared so, light. Okay. So, so infrared that would that would stand out like uh, it's like almost like invisible ink now but I can see all this writing. This might be your answer. I might, it yeah. might actually say the his name and I'm not going to try to pronounce it again. Yeah. Horrible, I don't, <laughs> but you know, it's again uh, you know, amazing stuff, Alex. Thanks. Is this I mean, something that would be written in Latin or early Italian? I, either one, I, either way. I, if I saw, I can't even read one word, and I took, I, yeah. I was horrible at Latin. I took one year and... I only three. took it for the SATs, and it failed me. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, thank, thank you, man. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Alex, uh, Alex Gardner, thanks. Man, wow. Thanks for all the work you're doing here at Round Top. Oh, well, working this, the guy's been working his tail off, pulling together this event, and... Uh, you There's know, big, you, big hand, big Ruby hand. Lane, and Texans just make it great. Thanks, man. Yeah. I, I agree with you there. I love Texas. I love yeah. Texas. Texas, really. I want to move here. I live in Midland, New York. Well, you're in Connecticut, so. Uh, well, no. no New okay. York now. Oh, that's right. New yeah, York. New York that's, now. that's right. You're in New York, but you're not in the city. I'm in the, nope, I'm in not in the city. I'm in Manhattan, so I, I, I'm going to stay here. You know, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I think you so, and I let's just get a you want to get a yeah, condo together, condo, just be two, get, uh, yeah, two get, divorcees, yeah, get my get Brandon out, yeah, get Brandon out here, and uh, you'll, you'll stay with us. So, thank you very much, Alex. Are we, are we through all the pieces? Are we I, I think that wraps up everything. Okay, well, I want to thank you all for coming here. Thank you all, thank you all on, on Ruby Lane for sticking with us, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. We have a great walkthrough as we do. And this is going to be Exciting a blast stuff. just going through the show. Yeah. We're, going to have, we're going to have a whole crew with mm -hmm. us, right? Yeah. And uh, we're going to find treasures here at Round Tap. And uh, thank you very much. Take care. Thank you. Hey, thanks, man. Good thanks, job. Lee. Nice job, man. Nice Great piece. Job. That's amazing. Yeah. I, you know I mean, what, this man? Like, this um, like, it's like, wow. I'm looking forward to seeing what comes of it. Uh, no, it's like, yeah. it, it's. Or not? Okay. Thank you. Back on. Okay, so we have one more piece, and uh, that we're gonna look, take a look at.
and gotcha. come on right up. Let me get it up. Uh, we're going to have it in front of you in a moment. If you want to stick around for one more piece on Ruby Lane, uh, let me, maybe I can look at the piece. Oh, yeah, Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Let me, oh, let me look at that. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, this, thank you. Okay. So, we're going to, um, how are you? Good, anyway, how my are name's, you? My name's Lee. I'm Cassandra. C Cassandra, Cassandra, nice, Cassandra to meet you. nice to meet you. Yeah. Thank you very much. And so what's the story on this? Let me hold it up so the cameras can see it. Yeah, so this is a um, Mark Chagall lithograph that okay. my mother uh, acquired in an it, estate sorry sale. Sorry about that. Yep, yeah, a little loud again, thanks. She won this at an estate sale in El Paso, Texas. Okay. Um, it was at auction. I think she said she won it for about $90. 90, wow, wow. The thing is, it says 52 out of 500. Okay, I mean, so what we have, a, you know, as you know, as most of you know at home, Mark Chagall is a very famous artist, um, and uh, man, from the uh, early 20th century, and you've probably done some homework on him, right? Yes, she actually gifted this to me after I got a role at an art gallery, uh -huh. so um, she thought I would like it. She studied Russian, right? so she also was really interested in, in Russian art. Uh huh. Okay, in Russians, uh, that well, this is kind of like some of the constructivist stuff from Russia, right? Yes, uh, you know, yeah. Yeah. It, this reminds me, so I can see how, you know, this Chagall would appeal to her. And do you know what she paid for? Ninety dollars. Yeah. Ninety dollars. Wow. Yeah. Ninety dollars. Got. Okay. So, it, I tell you, it is wonderful. The thing is, when you have a lithograph, you always want it, the first thing you want to look at. We well, look at the whole thing. But then you go down here and it says 52 out of 500, right? Yes. And that's in pencil. But you, and you come over to the Marc Chagall, and, and this is in darker print, right? Absolutely, so, yeah. Yeah. And so I, 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 look, I haven't, had, you know, of course, had a chance to look up this edition, but I'm not, it might not be the first edition from Marc Chagall. It might be, not be the one that where Marc like Chagall. Like after, yeah. yeah. It might be after him because it does have the pencil numbered here. And usually, if 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 they're if it's numbered in pencil here, it's usually it's usually in the in same pencil thing, as well. yeah, okay. or in ink ink. So the fact that they're different is like one quick like warning light goes off. Not a bad thing, but just not the first edition. edition. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. And and this, but and then if I had my loop working, I could look at this the pic, see if there are pixels in at all in here. Sorry, from my back of my head here. Uh. You know, and I want to look outside of the glass, but I have a feeling that's part of the print, that, that, that signature. Right, like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense, yeah, makes absolutely. Sense? I mean, how, uh, yeah, it's $90, you said. Um, I mean, so, so what you have is a lovely, you know, edition that somebody probably published, you know, did in the 20th century, probably within 60 years ago, or 50 or 50 maybe, maybe later, you know, in the 70s or 80s. That's my guess. Okay? Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah she said she got it. She wanted it at auction yeah. in 2011. Yeah. And she she just handed this down to me in December. Oh, nice. So, okay. yeah. Right. Yeah, it it's, would make sense that it's after Chagall. After Chagall. Well, that's, well, well then value-wise, you know, it's a gift from your mom. You'll never sell it. You yeah, know? I enjoy it at my home no yeah. matter what. Yeah. So I don't want to put a number on it and, like, if it was a real Chagall, if it was, like, first dish, I, I would tell you it's worth this much. But because it, 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 I want you to look at it and not think of a number. So I want you to think of your mom. Right. Can Thank I, you. Yeah, yeah I you're welcome. That. Sure. So it's really nice. That's, thank you. That's, yeah. that's a great, and thank you for, thanks thank so much you. for bringing me in. I appreciate it. Thank, thank you, you so hand, much. Shake your hand behind the <laughs> scenes. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> right. thank you're, you, so you, much. you look lovely. Thank you. Thank you, you so much. much. Have a great one. Thanks for coming. So thank that, you. that wraps it up, uh, everybody. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow for the great sleeper hunt here at Round Top. Bye bye. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. He'd like a picture. Can we oh, do sure, that? of course.